Hey guys, what's up? Whew. I feel like I laid around today and did nothing until an hour ago and then I tried to eat breakfast, get some new redeems in, which I failed at doing that, and getting the dogs in here, getting their treats. So, geez, maybe I shouldn't do that. Let's see, let's see, so who's in here, who do we got? Ikea, Scooby, Kelly, what's up guys? Oh, it looks like mom was just gifted a membership. Oh, we got a gifted membership from Rusty and Sir Tucker. Thank you guys. Oh, it looks like I, I for saying hi. I don't know if you guys heard that. <laughs> Izzy, what's up? <clears throat> let's see, let's see. <laughs> Hyper. <laughs> Awesome tat on that arm. Oh, thank you. Yes, that's my my half-finished scarecrow there with some uh, jack-o'-lanterns, and then it's like a a fall landscape kind of on the on the outside. Desert B, I'm sorry. This Friday ended my test week, so I wasn't able to learn Shika. Oh, no worries. I think um, you have until whenever we decide to play Breath of the Wild, then I think it'll really it'll really come into play, Piper. <laughs> What are you doing back there? I don't know if you guys can hear her. <clears throat> Your headphones broke. Oh no! So you're missing Piper Howls in the background. <laughs> Nathan, I love the new um, profile pic straight out of the Shadow Temple. That's sweet. Piper singing pitch perfect. <laughs> yes. I love the howls. She, uh, last night I was recording some, <laughs> some uh, more of that Peach Showtime game, and she was just sitting next to me, just howling for like 20 minutes. I was like, Piper, please. <laughs> so that's gonna be in the background of that recording. <laughs> Sir Tucker, oh, hi, mom. <laughs> thank you so much, Sir Tucker. I saw, I just saw mom in here. Oh, thank you for the membership, nice. Yep, you're a member again, redeem. Uh, Nathan, I, I literally have your redeem. I just don't have it in the system yet. I, I don't really have a picture for the background for it. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I do. Let me get their treats out. I've got those here. That's what they want. Is that what you guys want? You want your tree toes? Why Piper's carrying on? Because I brought a big, a bag of, um, their beef jerky back here. And now they're like, where's it at? Hi, Mom. <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> Thanks, Sir Tucker. There you guys go. Ooh, okay. Hello, Piper. I wish I could give you a treat. <laughs> They're going to get plenty of treats today. Scooby snack time. Yes, we're still working on our vet dog's treats. They like these ones. They're nice and soft. Use the one I switched my profile. That's what I was thinking. Um, hmm, I'd have to go, let me think, let me think. I'd have to download it. The dog hair on my microphone. Um, yeah, I'd have to go download it. I can add it without a picture for now. Let me do this. Um, create new, let's call it Nocturne. I'll add it right now. Nocturne of Shadow. Let me pull my keyboard over here. And then I'll just put a picture on it later. Picture. Oh, I have to pick a picture. So what are we going to pick? Um, let's pick. Hmm. Oh, let's pick the, um, this redead thing that I have in here. Cause that kind of goes with it. And then, okay, let me add. I, let me see, let me see. It should be in my downloads. Nocturne of Shadow. Okay. And then show in the chat, show alert. And let, I'm just gonna do, um, it'll be redeem. Let's just call it Nocturne. So it's short, Nocturne. Just redeem Nocturne. All right, it's in. <laughs> Nocturne Alley. <laughs> Not quite. 
I remember the good old days when I reminded B about uh, daily about going to the Hyrule Castle. Oh yes, <laughs> there it is. All for you, Nathan. I know I don't see Hyrule Postman here yet, but I know he was asking for Fi's theme, um, which I have. I just don't have a picture for it yet. Okay, shall we? I'm a Harry fan. Me too. All right, I'm gonna turn on my Wii U. Did you guys see the finale to The Wind Waker? That game was fun. The ending, the final boss fight was really fun. This beats nice it is. <laughs> I'm just hairy. <laughs> what part of the game are you on now? So in Twilight Princess, we're on Mm, we just finished the Temple of Time, so we're kind of between temples. Let me see, let me see. <clears throat> the whole series was fun. Oh, yay, I'm glad you liked it. I almost said Happy Easter, but that may not be appropriate. <laughs> I don't celebrate Easter, but lots of people do. Wind Waker ending was great. Yeah, it was so fun. That final boss fight, you wouldn't expect such a bold move coming out of Link because he's just a child, you know? But yeah, he uh, that was probably one of the gnarliest ending to Ganondorf fights, I guess. All right, one more, sit down. One for Artie, where are you? Oh, I guess I should turn the music off. <laughs> I was like, where's that coming from? There we go. Right in the skull. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't celebrate Easter, but at least I get Monday free. Oh, nice. I wish. I wish I got Monday off. Um, all right, let's do it. I think, what are we gonna do today? I wanna go Maybe hunt some pose and some bugs and see if that Goron's finally done with our bridge. And then so we gotta do something with the Dominion Rod. You gotta like give it back its magic or something, right? Oh. Oh, I was like, why is it so quiet in here? So on Tuesday, we're I have to take Piper in to her appointment. So they're saying it's just a consultation for the surgery, but there is a high possibility that they'll just go ahead and do the surgery on Tuesday. So I kind of hope they just do it because I really am kind of sick of uh, worrying about it and thinking about it. So I hope that she's just going to go ahead and have her surgery on Tuesday. Oh, I'm scared. I don't like it. I don't like that I have to leave her there. And they said there's a possibility that I, they're gonna have to keep her all night that day too. Well done, adventure. Uko sees what she was looking for. Goodness, yes, this is the Dominion Rod. You found it in the temple, but that thing has been around for quite some time. I can see from here that its magic has been exhausted. What am I to, oh, what am I to, I think she means what am I to do? I thought at last I could return to the sky. And I've completely forgotten the spell that would once again bestow with magic. Uh, it can't be helped. I suppose I'll just have to look for the statues that respond to the rod. It's decided that's what I'll do. That's what we'll do indeed. Uko is on her way. See you again. Okay, you weird, weird booby chicken. That was the first comment for the video. Yes, you were. I saw that. Uh, what'd you do to the dominion rod? She's gone. I suppose a useless rod is really just more baggage, but what are we, you going to do? Did she just say something about returning to the sky? The last piece of the mirror is also said to be in the heavens. If you can restore magic to the Dominion Rod, maybe it'll come in handy. That sounds like a plan. Um, let's see. I'm actually at an Easter family party right now. Nice. Well, have fun. Um, haven't seen the finale as I've been busy working on my article. Well, you should go watch it. I think we're done in here. So should we just warp out? Yeah, let's go. 
Where should should we just kind of go on foot for a little while? We gotta find the bugs. Little dude, what's up? Hey B, sorry I'm late. Henry, what's up? You're not that late. It's like 10 minutes. Someone should open up a uh, <laughs> high roll fried chicken. High roll fried cuckoo. Yeah, those aren't exactly the same thing. I don't know. I, wouldn't it be a little bit weird to eat an animal that talked? Feels a little bit cannibalistic. Let's actually go to the north. CC, what's up? How do you redeem quotes? Just do exclamation quote. I meant to add some new quotes too. I just really ran out of time. So I woke up today and I fed the dogs and then I was like, I'm gonna play some Stardew. I laid down on the couch and played some Stardew Valley and I did not get up one single time until noon. And I got up, I started at like seven. So I was playing that game for like, what, four or five hours almost? And so, yeah, it was kind of nice to just do nothing for a change. Because on Saturdays, I feel like I'm usually pretty busy on Saturday mornings. There's a path right here. Oh, um, can I change into a human? Yeah, so I, I don't know. I don't really feel like I got that much accomplished in Stardew Valley, but... I, there's like a bunch of things that I'm trying to do, but it takes so long to do any of them. Like, I'm trying to get this one ring. And to get the ring, you have to kill a thousand slime monsters in the, in the mines. And I'm only at like 770, so I did that for a while. And then I was like, all right, I'm going to go do something else. And then I went to a new island, and then... And then I got stuck over there for a while. And so I don't think I really actually accomplished anything. <laughs> okay, I need the Dominion Rod for that. Should I just go get the Dominion Rod? Um, build up with magic first. Because... I feel like I'm going to need it for puzzles and stuff. Let me see. Let me talk to Midna. Oh, whoops. Wrong button. Congrats on finishing Wind Waker. Thank you. That ending was so fun. Um, and now we have hero. Well, I think hero mode always was unlocked technically, but I don't think I would have played hero mode the first time through, but maybe we can play hero mode, especially because it saves some of your save data. I don't know where I'm going. Kind of look for bugs and pose, but also I don't have like all the items that I need. Buggy time, yup. High roll fried booby chicken. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> when life is depressing, watch a DBG video. Nice. I forgot that quote was in there. Where's Austin Ben? Anyways, I feel like I haven't even seen him in a while. <laughs> That's why nobody eats parrots. I can't imagine eating a parrot. A letter from Renato. My business is concluded, onward to mail. Oh look, we just got that quote, onward to mail. <laughs> Weird. Okay, let me see what Renato wants. Maybe that's in the collection. Letters. Oh. There's something about Alia's memory I wish to tell you. I know you're busy, but please. Oh, okay, let's go. Let's go do that. Well, but let me go on foot though, because I feel like maybe I'll find more things. Like we we haven't really found many heart pieces. There's bugs. Here's a bug. I see it glowing. And um, what else? Oh, pose is the other thing. A pill bug. Sweet. And Kakari goes this way. I need to get back into Stardew. Last time I lost interest when it was winter. Winter's tough. That's a hard season to get through. 
But mostly what I do is I try to upgrade my weapon and my farming tools during the winter. And then I also try to, um, well, like last time it was winter in my file, I was trying to get all iridium sprinklers, which I didn't finish doing, but I got to start on that. And, uh, pretty much spend a lot of time in the mine. Go check out the Goron opening. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll do that too. Let me do this. Who is that? That's that little girl. Link, did you know that Zora Boy is actually the prince of the Zora tribe? Oh, if I had gotten to know him better, maybe I could have gone and met the royal family and been a princess or something. Rats, I let a really big fish get away. <laughs> Jeez. Um... Where would Ilya be anyways? In that, um... Not in that building, right? She's in one of these buildings, I think. In the inn, maybe? How many quotes are there? I think... Also, I think all the sages are there now. Um, I don't know how many quotes we have. 45. Okay, what do you guys want? Link, the Zora boy, Rallus, went back to his village the other day. Did you say something to Rallus, Link? That was really nice. And I forget what this kid's name is. The Zora boy said that you gave him courage. I guess that boy is his real name, Rallus? Yes, well, I guess Rallus is the son of the Zora royal family. He said that he was a successor to the Zora throne, so he had to go back to his home. I am just glad that he... Wait, what? <laughs> Hit the like button, gang. Thank you, Sir Tucker. Yeah, guys, hit that like button. I'm glad that thanks to you, he has healed Link. Let me see. What does it tell me? It tells me that we have 12 likes on the video so far. Um. Oh, the Hyrule Postman. He just, what is he doing? I dropped a letter into the hot spring and now I can't read it. I gotta blow this thing dry. <laughs> we saw him in the bar too. Let's see, let's see. I wanted to catch up on the chat. I know I missed some things up here. Mm, whoever requested Uncle Artie. Oh yeah, who requested the Uncle Artie thing? Um, it's in the Discord. I feel like it was somebody that's not in the Discord that requested it though. Mm-hmm. Nope. I'm pretty sure Ilya was staying up here. Or maybe that was Prince Rallis. Well, maybe she is in that little house. Yeah, the Uncle Artie poster, that is so cute. I love it. Fun is all the fact of the stream. Did you know that a slowed down version of the song Dragon Roost Island is played in Rito Village? Yes. Isn't that so cool? Let me think. Um, where's the door to this place? Okay. So many quotes. One of those 45 is mine. <laughs> yes. He said the sanctuary. Oh, I guess I should have read that more thoroughly. Um, Maria, what's up? Yellow heart gang for life. Yeah, look at all those yellow hearts. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to read up on the chat here. I'm missing things more common to have high maintenance kids? I would know. Oh, it's Darbus, right? Pretty sure this is Darbus. The young lady's acquaintance. All right. Oh. I've been waiting for you, Link. Gosh, how many people say that to Link? Because didn't Sheik say that to Link in Ocarina of Time? Fortune has smiled upon us. If things go well, we should be able to help Ilya recover her memory. Do you know Telma's friend, Shad? Well, it seems he's researching the heavens and he's come here to see the statue in the basement of the sanctuary. And as I've learned, when Ilya was saved, she overheard someone talking about the rod of the heavens or something like that. The Goron elder believes that to help her regain her lost memories, we must piece together the fragments of her past, which means if we work our way backward from the very place where she lost her memory we may be able to find something that will restore it now we must retrace Ilya's path i'm sure 
I'm certain it was Telma who cared for her before she arrived in this village, was it not? It'd be best to speak with her first. Please take this to Telma. We got Renato's letter. Okay. It shames me to say it, but to be honest, I cannot abide Telma's company. <laughs> We have a fighting chance, Link. I've never understood the weird um, relationship between Renato and Telma. Because it seems like Telma has a thing for him, but he clearly can't stand her. I remember being saved from a dangerous situation by someone. Someone who told me all about the Rod of the Heavens, but now I can't remember the who, the why, where, or what it all means. Do you really think I'll recover my memory? I regret that a complete stranger like yourself... <laughs> right through the heart got caught up in all of this because of me i'm so sorry okay i'm missing a lot of chats hold on um <clears throat> mom is in fourth oh mom is in fourth i was like mom what does that mean mom because <laughs> it's in all caps yeah she's uh winning at that gambling game b what's your favorite character in zelda besides a main okay let me think about that <clears throat> mama got the points she does I keep wanting to call him Ronaldo. Same, same. It's Kim K again as, um, wait, what? I don't know what that means. It said I had 128,000 points and said that I won 20. Hmm, I don't know, I didn't see it. I take my hug back, <laughs> wait, what? Oh, <laughs> what the heck happened? Okay, let me read this. And I'll think about who my favorite non-main character is. Whether we get that girl's memory back, young warrior, will be up to you. Even our chief, Darbus, has lost the memory of his dark time. We've not told him that you were the one who saved him. He's a proud Goron, and he can be touchy if he knew he had been saved by a human. On the other hand, he does have a strong sense of moral duty, so if anything happens, you can count on him to help. Listen here, Darbus. You were saved by a tiny, puny human. Okay, let's go back down here. Um, what was I gonna do? <laughs> Song of healing. Um, I feel like I was gonna do something. Oh, I was just supposed to be thinking of who my favorite non-main character is. I feel like it depends on who you consider, like, a non-main character. Like, is Urbosa considered non-main? Because I think she would probably be one of my favorites. Color me surprised if it isn't Link. What a coincidence, meeting you in a place like this. How very odd. Say, oh boy, do you remember what I told you before about the legend of the sky beings known as the Uka? U Uka? Whatever? Yes, well, there's something about... There's something about it that's been bothering me, so I came here to snoop about. To think that you could appear here with such perfect timing, you really are a rather extraordinary fellow, aren't you? I found it at long last. Observe this statue. It's the same as the one in the manuscript my dear father left me. There are many similar statues around Hyrule, but this one seems to be different. Look at that belly. <laughs> There's something written there, you see. This too was in the fa my father's notes. It's called Skywriting. Awaken us with the word that breaks the seal. Yes, indeed, that's what it says. Wait a moment, isn't that Elia a friend of yours? It's simply tragic how she lost her memory. And that rod of the heavens she mentioned, I'm sure it was something to do with the word that breaks the seal. Isn't there any way to restore her memory? I'm certain it would help us figure this all out. Mm, I see, so we need to go uh, fix her memory first. So I guess let's get out of here. <clears throat> no, main is in not a wielder. Ah, okay. Uh, probably your Bosa then. Oh, is it tree time? You doggos want tree toes? Okay, so... What version of Impa is your favorite? Hmm... Skyward Sword. Although she is mean. <laughs> at first. <laughs> she kind of gives Link a hard time at first. Gotta shower the doggos with treats before the surgery. Yes. I really wanted to take Piper somewhere fun tomorrow um, because she's probably not going to be doing anything fun for a few weeks after her surgery. But it's supposed to be like thunderstorming, not just raining. If it was just rain, I'd probably say like, whatever, let's just still go and take an umbrella. But I don't really want to get struck by lightning. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll make him some ice cream. 
ice cream tomorrow. Hmm, okay, to the castle then. I gotta work, but I'm going to be listening. Lots of treats for my grand dogs. <laughs> Lots of treats, always. Let's go check on that Goron too. Oh, good idea, I do need to drink some water. I'm telling in advance that I'll have to miss the stream April 13th. All right, I'll allow it. <laughs> Is Midna a non-main? Probably, right? Impa's spicy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's just get across this field, I think. So this bridge is fixed. Actually, why are we going this way? Let's go this way. Wow, this is a dangerous field. Whoa! This is like some uh, pre-Ganondorf fight practice, I guess. Let's get out of here. Hopefully there's no bugs on this field. Oh my gosh, he almost got me off the horse. Get out of here. Jeez. Thunderstorm must be an uh, must be incredible out there in Arizona. They are. They're pretty sweet, except for like the scary ones in the summer when the wind blows at like 70 miles an hour. I don't like those. But tomorrow, Ugh, Link, please. Tomorrow, I'm guessing, assuming it actually even is thundering and storming and stuff. They're usually like the winter and spring storms are usually really nice. Oh yeah. Companion counts as not a main character. Oh, I should have said Fi. She could be in the top faves. I don't know. I really like Fi, guys. Everybody hates on Fi. But she's like... What was that? Oh, the lights just came on. She was, um... I don't know. I just like her character development as the story goes on. Midna kind of has some character development, too. That's pretty fun. Like in the beginning of the game, she's really just kind of in all this for herself, but toward, even toward the middle of the game, she really starts to change her attitude. But I don't know. I just, I just really like Fi. Let me go talk to Telma. I guess. Fishing season starts, so I might miss some weekends also. Oh, fishing season, fun. Yeah, okay. I don't remember exactly what the sequence is, but um, what we're going to have to do here, but I know it's got something to do with that doctor. Okay, where's my letter? Yeah, why doesn't Renato like mm -hmm. Telma? If it isn't from Renato the Shaman, all this writing and he doesn't bother to mention a thing about little old me. See, she's like got a thing for him and he's like, I cannot. <laughs> Honey, what that is what I call rude. Well, there's no accounting for the foolishness of a man and at least I understand Ilya's situation now. Of course, I can lend a hand for that adorable little girl. Uh, what else do I know? The first one to bring Ilya to the shop was that doctor. Maybe he knows something, but he's a crusty old bat, that's for sure. Hey. I've got it, honey. You go ahead and take this to him. This magic little paper will get that codger talking. You got the invoice. This invoice is for the town doctor's running tab, which is an astronomical sum. Look at all those numbers. <laughs> Wait for it to come back around. I want to see this. Bill, right on the front. That is... That's like over a million rupees. Is that like 17 million rupees? I'm sure it'd be nice if she started remembering things too, eh, Link? That little wink she does. Um, I love Fi. Yeah, I'm glad to see other people like Fi. It was sad to see her farewell. Oh, Scooby, you like Fi too. B, when do you think you'll start Breath of the Wild? I don't really know. Um, I don't really have a plan. Just kind of... 
just kind of going with the flow. Um, let me go out here and check on that Goron. Rusty, thank you so much. Hi there, sizable splashes friend. Welcome to the desert B games. Wait, 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 I missed it. Who? You brought a friend and I missed it? Hi there, sizable splashes friend. <laughs> Welcome to the desert B games yellow heart gang community. Yellow heart, yellow heart, yellow heart, yellow heart, yellow heart. <laughs> Well, I missed who your friend was, but welcome. That's exciting. It was sad to see her say farewell. Oh, yeah, Fi. Yes, I understand Fi. I like how analytical she is. Yeah, I think that's exactly why I like her. I really like, like, numbers and percentages and all that stuff, and I think that's probably why I like her. Henry actually cried. Same. That game gets me. There's a few scenes in that game that really get me. Oh. Look, brother, the, the way is now clear, just as I promised. I do not know where you're headed, but be careful. Okay, now we have a kind of a shortcut um, into the castle town here, so it's about time, dude. Perhaps it's because he's a shaman. As a shaman, maybe he's kind of crude. Maybe. <laughs> that ook booty. Yeah, that could be it. Maybe, um, yeah, maybe he doesn't like her, um, mannerisms or something. That's a lot of numbers. I know, I swear, that was like 17 million rupees. Room service is expensive. <laughs> I don't know what kind of service that man thinks he's getting. Mm, I've only got one bug for Agatha, so let's not... I thought you already replayed Breath of the Wild. Well, I did it on the recorded series, but I have not played it during a live yet. So I'll probably play it um, on stream eventually. Where is the doctor's office? I thought it was right here. That's locked. Oh, could it be um, closed during the day maybe? Vero Moon, how are you playing another Zelda game after Wind Waker? Um, not immediately, no. Eventually, the next Zelda game that I start is going to be Skyward Sword for the recorded series. But, um, I'm currently playing, I just started the Princess Peach Showtime game. And then, hmm, I'm not sure exactly when Skyward Sword is going to start. But soon, probably within, uh, the next couple, two or three games, maybe. Vi looks similar to the banker in Majora's Mask. <laughs> I suppose, maybe. Is it the haircut? Ook is also one of my favorites. Ook's pretty funny. King of Red Lions gains companion points for doubling as a mode of transportation. Ah, true. He does. Do I already have this bug? I feel like yes. Is it a snail? No, it's got legs. A ladybug. Yeah, we've already got this one. Okay, okay. I need to play Skyward Sword again. I forgot a lot about the story within and all the character developments. Yeah, I feel like Skyward Sword probably has the most character developments, don't you think? Because you've got um, Groos, obviously, is the big main one. And then you've got... Um, that girl, the item check girl, who you can choose to break her heart if you're a jerk, <laughs> or um, or like lead her on, kind of. There's um, I forget the the boy's name that you find out that he's got a crush on a girl in the academy, and there's that whole thing. There's Phi. Uh, I don't know. There's like a lot. There's a lot. And then also kind of playing into the item check girl, there's the guy who uh, is at the bamboo minigame thing. Which, by the way, the bamboo minigame has, like, probably at least in the top five best music of the whole game, which is, like, so odd. Can you guys leave me alone so I can pick up pose and bugs? Oh, it's raining! 
Why isn't this thing dying? Jeez. And let's grab ourselves a Poe. Uh, I should have known that was going to happen. Oh, he's coming down. That's convenient. Yuki Ryu, what's up? Oh, Hyrule Postman's here too. Just saying hi while I have a minute. Have a nice stream. All right, we'll see you next. Are you a Libra? No, I am not. What makes you think I'm a Libra? What month is Libra? Okay, let's go back. I guess I just came down here to pass time because in this game, there's no way to fast forward time. There's no other pose I can get real quick. Are there out here? <laughs> Those cute little piranhas. Okay. Live Breath of the Wild, count me in. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to it eventually. We're gonna, okay, here's what I was kind of thinking. Since I just, not re not recently, well, it's been about a year now, I guess, since I replayed Breath of the Wild, I was thinking when we do it on stream, we should 100% that game. Like, all the Koroks, all of it. Because why not? Um, apparently Fi's farewell is a tearjerker. I was worried she'd die when she went inside the Master Sword, but in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, we see, or rather hear, that she's still alive. I know I love that. I wish they'd do something more with it. Uh, I really need time to pass. I guess let's go run around. Why and for what do you need ladybugs? Um, it's for Agatha. Let's see, let's see. Bee's going Korok hunting. <laughs> Is this person who we see before us actually Brittany? <laughs> I know, I usually am very anti-Korok. I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to do it for Tears of the Kingdom eventually too. You know what, you've got 100% all the Zelda games at least once in your life. In some cases, more than once. But those Koroks, they're a lot. But I have not 100 percent to tears, so eventually we're going to have to do that. October is Libra. Nope, I'm not a Libra. What are the um, qualities of a Libra? Yeah, Pe Petris? Patrice? I don't know what her name is, but yeah, that girl. The, the item check girl. In Skyward Sword. I think some people theorize that her dad, the the guy at the bamboo place, is um maybe like a previous not hero per se, because Link is the first in that game, but um maybe like a knights, like a higher up person in the Knights Academy or something, because the way he dresses. I don't know, I heard it on like Zeltic or one of those guys' channels. Ooh. Oh. Alright, it's daylight. Let's go. Sun's up. Uh, I think that's the wrong way. Or is it? Ooh, do we get some more gifted memberships? Wow, why am I so behind in the chat? Rusty, five gifted memberships. Thank you. Oh, look, Vero Moon is just added. Welcome. I just saw you up here uh, in the chat a minute ago. Welcome, guys. And Kaya, yeah, I got your membership back. I don't recognize the other names. Oh, Maria, nice. Libras are usually beautiful, and that's what we think that you are. Oh, <laughs> thank you. No, believe it or not, I'm actually an Aries. Which means what? That I'm abrasive in nature and hot-headed and all kinds of other qualities like that. I forget what exactly it means. Tact 
sociability, intelligence, sense of humor. Wait, are those Libra? You there, you look like you need some bananas in your life. <laughs> is that one of the, what is that like a quote from uh, Breath of the Wild or something? Tree time. For you. When was I born? In, uh, do you mean the year? Wait, wait, wait. I want to know how old you guys think I look. So hit me with it. What do you, how old do you guys think I am? Unless you already know. I know I've maybe mentioned it before. Yep, we need the claw shots for this. Aries are warriors. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> I'm a Scorpio, but I'm told I'm not a traditional Scorpio. Interesting. You know, um, is it true? I'm pretty sure I've read that uh, the like serial killers are most commonly born in this like season of Scorpio or whatever. It's like October, November, I think. I think your moon and rising signs can be pretty integral. Oh, I don't know what those are for me. I mean, I know what they are, but I don't know what they are for me. As a Sagittarius, I'm supposedly an adventure kind of person, but I just stay at home, so that actually doesn't sound like me at all. Well, maybe it just hasn't kicked in yet. Maybe when you get older. Then you must suffer at the hands of the E. <laughs> That's definitely gotta be Breath of the Wild, Age of Calamity, or maybe Tears. You look like you're 26. Nice. Didn't you mention a few streams ago that you were in your 30s and born in the 80s? Not the 80s, but in my 30s, yes. Hmm. What was I doing? Oh yeah, the doctor. You look like your early 20s. Vera Moon, welcome to the membership club. You look 23. <laughs> I'm actually 33, guys. I'm old. I'm just kidding. I don't I don't think I'm old, but um, I feel like I'm 28-ish. Maybe 30. Pretty Gloved Gaming, what's up? How did we get into horoscope? I have no idea. But I can't find this doctor's office, guys. It's in here somewhere. Could it be on the other side? Because... Maybe the map is flipped. Let me go this way. Maybe I'm looking over there, but it really is over here. Nope. That's the crazy cat, dude. Are you a 90s baby? Yep. Barely. I was born in 1990. This has got to be it, right? We found it. You're not in your 30s, are you? I am. <laughs> I'm gonna be 34 this year, which sounds really weird to say. How did this happen? Just as I wondered who it might be, I see it's the admirable young lad who was willing to help the Zora boy for nary a single rupee. Just what is it you want, lad? A physical? You've got some money, don't you? <laughs> no. By the way, that girl Ilya didn't mention anything about me, did she? That sounds super sus. Um, I'll be honest, lad. It'll cost you a fair bit for an examination. It's not that I'm having trouble making money, not at all. Why, I'm so skilled, they call my hands the golden mitts. Uh, I, I don't believe it for a second. If you don't have an errand here, then be gone, you scoundrel. Did she really not say anything at all about me? Let me see. Do you have to talk to him again? Don't bother. I think... Oh, I gotta show him the letter. Duh. Hello. I thought I was going to have to turn into a wolf and scare him. <laughs> In your prime. <laughs> Hopefully my prime isn't until I'm at least like 50 because I'm trying to live until at least 100. Look, I can't pay this off right now. I can see Telma's hired you as some sort of heavy to strong arm me, but she'll have to wait. Look, lad, if you if I'd been able to sell the wooden statue that young lady had, I wouldn't have I would have been able to get that money. See, 
I accidentally spilled medicine all over that little carving, which made it stink awfully. I put it outside to dry, but then, well, it was stolen. Who goes around stealing people's stuff like that? What a world. You always have to be on your guard, eh? You know, he looks like the scientist in, um, like, the Lake Hylia little laboratory in Ocarina of Time. Look, Mr. Heavy, at any rate, neither the money nor the carving is here, so I can't repay you. Now, to work. To work. Okay, so now we have to exit. Come back as a wolf. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Jellyfish, you're an Aries? We're Aries twinsies. You 90s babies. <laughs> yup. 90s are the best. Doctor is near. Yeah, it was near the other exit. I guess for some reason in my head, I the map is reversed for me in my head. So I don't know what version I played first, but it apparently wasn't this one. Hmm. Do I need to come here at night? Medical center. It's got something to do with the cats, doesn't it? <laughs> Doing an Easter egg tradition. Fun, fun. Nathan, you were also born in 1990? Nice. 2000s, baby. Why does that sound like you're still an actual baby? <laughs> <laughs> the doctor is creepy, yes. I still can't believe I turned 37 this year. I know, isn't it weird? Like, I don't know. I feel like... There's a dog. I feel like I'm still, tw like, 28 or 30. I like picking stuff up, but I hate stone pavement because it makes my paws hurt. No one understands that. Maybe. Oh, here's an idea. Let me go back out, change into a human. Okay, I've had an idea. Why does he look much older? Like, he looks like a much older Robbie. Oh, true, Robbie. I was thinking of that scientist in Ocarina of Time. Were you born in April? Yep. Well, I'm glad you guys think that I look younger. That makes me feel better. <laughs> I'm not the only person that has a crush on Koga. Wait, who has a crush on Koga? What do you think of- oh, Master Koga, isn't he dreamy? That's a quote from the game. Who says that? Here's an idea. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> nice. Nice timing. I just have to go to the back room and change into a wolf. Alright. And then we're gonna go scare that old man. Forget the reek fish scent and learn a new smell? Yes. We learned the medicine scent. Now, what can we do over here? You're a persistent little bug, eh? I said I would. I have neither the money nor the wooden statue. Can't get rid of that medicine stench. He's not even gonna look? Oh, come on, turn around. Lame, I wanted to scare him. <laughs> okay, I guess it's not gonna work. We got the medicine scent. Actually, let's stay a wolf. Or can I? Because I can't go through doors. And there's nowhere to dig out of here, I don't think. Oh. Oh, look at this. Secret passageway. Okay. Some Yiga women say that before attacking you. Ah, okay. Who else is a 70s baby? You might be the only one. I think Scooby's close to 70s. If I remember correctly. All right. Let's follow the stench. I don't even really remember where this takes me. I'm 28 and terrified of getting older. Why? Don't be scared. I just know that in the last few years, I've started caring a lot more about weird things that I never cared about before. Like, 
uh, trying to get a specific amount of exercise in every week because not because I want to lose weight or get fit, but because I want my heart to be healthy. <laughs> and I've started trying to eat things like oatmeal because it's good for your heart and it has like fiber and stuff in it. And I'm like, are these just, I guess, I mean, I guess these are just 30 year old things. I don't know. You're looking for the wooden statue that Ilya had, aren't you? Think it's coincidence that I happen to know it got stolen from the doctor's place? No. Yes, I'll admit it, I took it, but then I was getting attacked by some sort of skeletal dog beast who took it from me. I don't know why those beasts were after that statue. I thought it likely that she was in a dangerous spot though. Those fiends just lurk, lurk just outside the southern gate. Unfortunately, they only come out at night. Another thing, they always move around as a pack, so you won't get that statue back unless you give them all a thrashing. The statue sounds like a key to getting Ilya's memory back. You must get it back. All right. So... Mm, I'm a wolf. Let's go change back. Ooh, jellyfish, you were born in the 90s and in April? We're like literally almost twinsies then. Wolflink having more dexterity to open chests than literal bird human men. <laughs> True. Look at these people just fleeing from the castle. I was born in the early 80s. Nice, 80s baby. Scooby, okay, I thought it was 60s. I thought it was 60s. But I didn't want to say that and then be wrong. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Had to get the, the mid in a hand out. So, what are we gonna do? Oh yeah, I was gonna go back in actually, because I want to see if the Mallow Mart's there yet. Robbie and Impa didn't improve of the de-aging tech. Did it improve, improve of it or approve? Robbie and Impa. <laughs> Isn't it kind of messed up that Impa and Pura are sisters and Pura did not share the anti-aging thing with her sister? She was just like, ah, whatever. I'm going to get young and who cares about her? <laughs> if my sister knew of an anti-aging thing and didn't share it with me, I think I'd never forgive her. 2008, baby! That sounds so young! Where's that fancy shop at? Should it be this one? You're a new face. Have you ever been in that shop? If not, you should really check it out sometime. Is it... But it's not Mallow Mart yet, though. I don't think he's gonna let me in with my dirty shoes. Yeah. How do you get Mallow Mart shop in here? Desert Bee, I have a bowl of oatmeal almost every day with a handful of freeze-dried freeze fruit. I have a bowl of oatmeal with apples in it with a little bit of cinnamon and sugar almost every day lately. Because oatmeal is supposed to be heart healthy. Okay. I don't know where we're going, but let's go. Link, please. Go. Pura didn't share her jetpack with us. Her jetpack? 2009? Oh my gosh, you guys sound like babies. 2010? Jeez. It just keeps getting younger and younger. I'm pretty sure I have a nephew that was born in 2010, which is kind of scary to think about. That I, like, know people that I guess are young enough to have like been my child because my sister is younger than me and she's the one with the child that is my nephew so what the heck let's actually not think about that okay can i break this i'm thinking no but let's, let's see watch out epona oh, she's fine 
I've been doing double takes every time someone buys liquor at my store and they were born in 02 and 03. That's so weird. So where did this take me? Just like another... Hmm, so this would be like a bypass if you didn't want to go through Kakariko Village to get to this side of Hyrule. Oh, look at these jellies. They kind of look like leeches. Kind of gross. Hmm, alright. This isn't the hill that we did, we got the Poe from a minute ago, is it? I don't, I don't know. I don't think so, because I don't think there was a railing on it. Link! I should get a map or something that tells me where the Poe's are. And the bugs, to be honest. turning 30 this year. Nice. I feel like my 30s have been like the best. The best so far. Better than my 20s because I have more money than I had in my 20s and I make better decisions than I did in my 20s. I think I... I don't know. 30s have been better than 20s for sure. Whoa! Okay, it's nighttime. We gotta go fight the dogs. And she said southern... Southern, yeah, I think it's this little area right through here. One of Pura's journals said she hid around Hyrule State having to use a jetpack to get... Oh, I guess I don't remember that. A jetpack? Interesting. <gasps> Why can't I change? That Goron's watching me. There we go. It wasn't the bridge like I thought last week. I think you have to donate to the Elder Gorons in the Mallow Shop. Well, I did that. Um, I did that, and that's what prompted them to... Let me think. What did that do? I don't know. I'll go back and check with them, because maybe you just got to do it more than once. All right, where's my stick? Oh, weird. It looks like those Beemos thingies with the eye on it. It's the Sheikah eye, though. You got the wooden statue. This oddly shaped statue is said to have once belonged to Elia. It might be a clue that will help get her memory back. Okay, now what should I do? Go back to Kakariko Village? Yeah, I guess so. I was thinking Telma, but she's not going to tell me anything. Um, Why do I have so many friends that are like two times older than me? <laughs> I don't know. Time to hydrate. Good idea. I would want a Pomeranian or a Corgi as a pet. That sounds fun. I'm wondering what happened to my 20s. It feels like I blinked and they're gone the same. Okay, actually, let's go this way. We're gonna take the long way. Uh, actually, let me go this way. Just in case we see any bugs or pose. Wow! Wow, they really took me all the way off the horse. Let me get the bow out. Ruining the most amazing music in the whole game. Getting attacked by these uh, enemies. Uh, anyways, you talking about the types of dogs that you would want just made me think. I feel, I keep seeing all these videos of golden retrievers and it makes me really want a golden retriever. They seem so sweet and cute. 
But I don't know. Huskies are really fun too. It's a tough choice. I think part of my reason also for wanting something different in the future is because I feel like these two, they're like the perfect huskies that I could have ever had. And if I have another husky, how am I ever gonna... How are they gonna... Like, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, it feels like I'm just always gonna have these two as my favorites, which probably isn't true, but... Which is why I think maybe I should have a different breed of dog in the future. He is leaving? I won the perfect amount of points. Oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Let's see. Truly cares? What's up? You need to donate a total of a thousand rupees? I feel like I did, but let me... I'll check with them. But first... Link, I remember being saved from a dangerous situation by someone someone who told me all about the rod of the heavens, but now I can't remember who they were. I think I just need to show her this thing. What the heck? There it goes. Oh, a cutscene! Night Zero, what's up? Watching you makes me want to play this on an emulator. Do it. I remember something. I was confined somewhere, yes, and I was saved by whoever was confined with me. And when that person set me free, they gave me this statue. I remember that much, but that means that person is still in trouble. What's wrong with me? I can't remember. I remember what? I thought I had seen that before somewhere. That belonged to the tribe that protected the Hylian royal family long ago. They worked in secret, so they lived in a lonely, forgotten place, but I heard that tribe dwindled in the prolonged wars. If you want to find that hidden village, look for a path leading to the Lenevru province on the far side of the Elden Bridge. Far side of Elden Bridge leading to Lenevru. But a rock, side block, rock slide blocked the way to the village long ago, so you can't get there. What? Oh, I don't mean to worry you, little human. Problems like these are not problems to Gorons. Yes! Hidden village time. Okay, Darvis is gonna go save the day. You could always go to your local shelter and adopt. True, true, true. Our patriarch, Darvis, will be waiting for you up ahead. Look at your map to see where. I would try to find the path beyond the bridge of Elden that leads to the Lanayru province. Oh, look at how it, sad Ilya looks. Poor thing. You can do it on your... You can have an emulator to play this on your phone? Wow. I feel like you've got to play this on a big screen. Leaving the stream for now. Try, tr try not to talk bad about Master Koga. <laughs> You're waiting for another service dog. Oh, cool. <laughs> I came out of nowhere. Okay, then let's go back out this way. I think all of our paths are unblocked, so I think I should be able to get there from anywhere now. It's so sweet and cute. I know, especially when she actually does get her memory back. That one's fun, too. Three things you need. Oh, should I have checked, or is the shop going to be closed? Oh, gosh. Can't steer. Three things you need to open the Castle Town Mallow Mart is a thousand rupees, hot spring water, and to fix the bridge. Let me go talk to them again, because I feel like I've done the last two. We fixed the bridge. We opened up that other path. Well, what does this guy say? He did me a favor. It seems my young one in Castle Town's been revitalized and has resumed business. think is there a reason for us to be open at a time like this <laughs> no and don't try to tell me the customer's always right <laughs> gosh i hate that kid fine i guess we can't check because it's nighttime I just had to go to the geyser event in sky. I don't know what that means. 
Okay, so I can see on the map where we need to go. Let's go around this way. Keep our eyes peeled for bugs and pose. Or chests? Although I'm not going to be able to get that chest because we don't have the dominion rod. Never mind. Does Artie and Piper talk a lot? Yes. Uh, not like funny animal videos per se. Um, around dinner time is when they're, they howl a lot because they're, they want their dinner. Piper will do it if you howl with her sometimes, but Artie really only does it if he wants dinner. For some reason, Artie also howls when the um, when I'm playing Stardew Valley and all the cows and chickens and lambs and whatever else are making noise. For some reason, he'll howl at those too. Sometimes. Yes. Similarly to that, but much louder. Oh boy. Give me those spurs. Thought you did hot water also. I did, I'm pretty sure I did. Pretty sure I've already gotten that bug. So maybe I just need to donate more rupees or maybe I've already done all the things and I just need to go talk to him and then he'll say that he's leaving. Leave me alone! Wow, there's a lot of enemies back here. It should be... Have I passed it? Darvish should be around here somewhere, right? Let me go back and walk it bombable wall back there. Oh no, I missed it. Wherever it was. Renewed my membership, but YouTube is acting up. Oh no. Okay. It should be... Oh, it's right here, I think. But I don't see Darbus. Artie's like, you won't get my howls except when food's involved. <laughs> <laughs> True. Okay, here he is. Wow. Can you make a video on them screaming? <laughs> I don't know, maybe. There's a hidden village up ahead, little human. The elders call it the Forgotten Place. This scent that's been burning my nostrils, it's the scent of evil. There's one powerful creature I have seen about, but under that beast are many minions who attack and plunder like a pack of hyenas. There are 30, no, and most 20 of them ahead. They are probably just a small band of survivors, ragged remnants who have settled leaderless into this village. Mm -hmm. If that's all there is, wait, wait, wait. If that is all there are, little human, then you alone are more than enough for them, but you'll have to defeat them all to save that girl's benefactor. Before you go, I'll tell you the secret to besting them. Destroy them all before they spot you. Got it, little human? And then he just leaves me. Sonic RBL X and more. What's up? Welcome. Um, sounds like Pavlov's dogs. My sister used to be the same way when I'd make her sandwiches. What? I don't know what that means. I feel like we're talking about dogs howling. Don't tell me your sister would howl. All right, so he said the trick is to destroy them before they see you. Which is where this thing comes in handy. A little bit hard to aim with. There's one. There's a lot of sounds going on right now. Oop. Um, surprisingly not one on the lookout tower. That's kind of odd. Do we see any more? There's one.
Okay. Now we'll get the little intro cutscene. <laughs> and the music. The music is so fun. B, we need to take Piper to the vet. Bring a couple servings of her food so she doesn't have to eat their food and get the runs. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, I will do that. I've also got, um, like, pumpkin on hand because, you know, puree, pumpkin. Because, you know, when they, when they do, um, when they have to get anesthesia or whatever, they always kind of get uh, upset stomach from that. So I have pumpkin to help with her upset stomach. Um, I have like a soft cone in case she's got to wear a cone. I don't know if she will or not, but I've got a soft cone for her because I hate those plastic ones. And I've got, whoops. Um, I don't know what else. Should I, I don't know if I should have stuff for like a bland diet or just, or if she, she'll be good to just go back to her regular food. And then of course, lots of tree toes. I've got some puzzles and stuff for them, I figure, since she's probably not gonna be doing anything very active. I'll um I'll put some treats in her her doggy puzzles and give her those every day or something so that she gets at least some kind of like mental stimulation. I wanted to buy a pair of camouflage pants. But I couldn't find any. Is that another dad joke, Sir Tucker? <laughs> Thank you so much. I love the dad jokes. Stealth mission? Yes, a stealth mission. It's like a proper stealth mission, kinda. I mean, you don't get kicked out if you don't do it stealth, but I'm looking for more of these guys. Get all the ones on the outside first. Oh, shoot. Well, he's like right there. Doesn't even try to try to get me. seeing any more outside. Oh, somebody saw me. Maybe I should actually, let me take, uh, how do I get this thing off? Uh, he got me with the fire arrow. Whoops. And then I think you can shoot right through the glass. Yeah. Nice. Okay, let's go back and let's go through these buildings. Now, let's see. Does that mean there's only, I guess there's only six left. There's one. Let's just take him out, I guess, with the sword. Did we actually get him? No, we did not. Oh my goodness. Should be five. Changing food upsets their tummy. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Because if they do have to keep her overnight, I don't want her eating whatever they feed her. Hmm. Okay. I guess that's it for that building. That's where I just was. There's nothing back this way. I don't see. I can't can't go in there. Where did that come from? Aha! Come on, Link. Lock on. What the heck? Why isn't he shooting? I'm just like taking hit after hit, and he's not shooting the guy. He's like shooting straight forward. Hello. Oh, in the alley. I already got that guy. That's three left. There's got to be another way to get into these buildings. Oh, you know what? Mm, I might have to jump across. I, I don't know why I have this memory of having to jump across as a wolf. Let me try to jump this. There we go. Here we go. No. No. There's another one down here. That's two left. Oh, and this is the last one. <gasps> oh no, I'm out of arrows. What do I do? Um, slingshots? <laughs> At this point in the game, that feels silly, but um, 
Oh, it worked. <laughs> nice. Okay. We always have to give our dogs, our dogs pumpkin in the summer because they won't stop harassing the toads that come around. Oh, no. Boiled chicken and white rice. Yeah, I might have some of that on hand just in case. The howls of the beasts, they have faded into silence. Piper's cuddling with the camera. <laughs> she really is. <laughs> Wait, are you the savior? It's you, the savior. Please, please forgive me for not opening the door. My name is Impuzzed. I'm the last resident of this poor village. The name comes from the great one who built this village so long ago. This village was once the secret home of a proud tribe who served the royal family, but it fell into decline and became infested with dangerous beasts. It's become an awful place. Excuse me for asking, but is your name Link? I knew it. So then you saved that nice girl. How lovely. When she was here, she would often cheer me up by saying that you would come to help. That sweet girl she worried about this old woman even as I helped her to escape from here. By royal order, I can't leave this place until a certain person arrives, no matter what terrible fate is visited upon it. Oh, but listen to me blather on. I have a favor to ask you. Would you help me return this to her? I think she always kept it close to her heart, but even so, she didn't hesitate to part with it in order to protect me. Oh, her charm. This is the key to getting back Ilya's memory. I believe in my heart that it's kept me safe all this time. So please, I ask that you return it to that girl. How cute. Link sure is one mean hombre. <laughs> Yeah, we took those guys out. The dear girl deserves her charm back and tell her that this old biddy was very grateful. I'm pretty sure I need to show her that rod too. I liked playing this mission when I first played this game. I know, it's so fun. Redeem Boop the Snoot. I gotta make a redeem for that. For Boops? <laughs> wow, look at the cobwebs. Hmm, I thought there might be something important in here. I wonder who that guy is. He's on the wall outside, too. Okay, let's show her the statue. Actually, I don't have the statue. But I have the rod. Does that do anything? Whoa. Hey, that rod. Is that the Dominion Rod? Could it really be? Are you the messenger to the heavens? Among the legends of my clan, there's a story from the time when the Uka still maintained contact with the royal family. Yes, it said that a mysterious rod was handed down from the people of the sky, and it was called the Dominion Rod. The rod was only to be carried by the messenger to the heavens when the royal family needed to communicate with the Uka. From generation to generation, my ancestors have guarded the book that, by royal decree, was given to was to be given to the messenger to the heavens. This is that book. Please take it. Okay, a book written in the ancient sky language. A crucial word in it is missing some characters. This is a hint to finding the path to the sky. This book is written in the ancient language of sky writing. I'm so glad I stayed in this village. If I had not met that young girl, what would have become of me? Meeting that girl must have been ordained by the gods so that I could be here today to pass on this knowledge. Okay. And that's pretty much all there is in this village, I think. I mean... I know that there's a bunch of chickens here that might have something for Wolf Link. Let's see if we can find him. I keep thinking I can break through. Here we go. Yeah, where are the chickens? Aha! Oh, and a howling stone. Who's watching me? The chicken? Come on. Do I have to go all the way outside? 
But surely it's not the old woman. Yeah, you gotta go all the way out. She probably had more important things to do besides cleaning while under attack. <laughs> Maybe. You would think she's been stuck in there in this village for so long that, I don't know. I mean, supposedly in the house. Maybe she'd have dusted some cobwebs up. I'm about to lurk. Gotta go grab some grub. Fun. What are you getting? It's sad she's alone in the village. That's true. She is. There's the cat minigame. Oh, the cat minigame. Okay. Sir Tucker with the gifted membership. Thank you. Welcome Raven's Blight. That's a fun name. The village is probably a no transformation zone. Yeah, it must be. Because the old woman's watching. The stuff hidden around here is all monster loot. If you want some of that nice loot, just dig around to your heart's content. Oh. I suppose I better listen to the song first. Middle down, middle up, down. Oh gosh. How am I gonna remember that? Middle down, middle up, down. All right, let's at least get that. Middle down, middle up, down. I missed the up in there, so let me start over. Middle down, middle up, down. Oh, and then middle. Maybe it was down middle. I don't know. Let's listen to it again. Or will it not let me? Hmm. Middle, up, down. I thought it was up. Up, middle. Oh, yeah, it is. Hmm, but then where does it go? Middle, down. Middle, up, down. We got that. And then up, middle, up, middle. Okay, so we missed the up at the, at the very beginning. I got that. And then up, middle, up, middle. Ah, they gave it to me. Nice. Redeem patience. <laughs> I don't have any patience. It's standing on like a wolf rock. Oh, it's a long hold on the down. Another long hold. Oh, yeah. The Twilight Princess main theme? It is? Oh, yeah, it is. Now I hear it. That's cool. <laughs> this one might be my favorite one. Yeah, that sounds really cool. with the castle in the background. You can even see the Arbiter's grounds back there. Let teachings of old pass to you. Take sword in hand and find me. Now this might be the last one. Maybe. Rusty, is that the thing? Is that the how? M, M, I don't know, D2, M. Nope, I don't know what that is. Uh, right in front of the castle. I wonder if I can do that one. Okay. How do I get out of here? Oh, there we go. I wish that the music still played. How come the music doesn't play anymore? Now that we beat it? Ooh, CC lost 2,000 points. 
<laughs> Oop. Oh, that was that was the um the music guide or whatever, Rusty. Totally didn't see that. Also, I'm not sure what does the U mean. Oh, up, uh, duh. But what's D two? Hold it for two two measures, I guess. This is my favorite feature of this game. I know that was cool. Okay, um, let's check this out. There's a little track on the wall here. To what though? It looks like a Korok puzzle. Hmm. Maybe a bomb? Oh, whoops. Nothing? That seems weird. Why would there be nothing back here? Hold on, let's take a better look. Nothing down this way? Weird. What was the point? Maybe the music will come back in the daytime. Ah, true. That could be. Yeah, I guess while we were in the village, I didn't realize that it was full on night. I thought there were more of those um, things around here. More tree toes. There you go. Okay, so she gave me the book and now I've got Ilya's charm. And we're at an hour and a half. Okay, but one uh, one thing that I wanna do really quick is, um, is go to the, whatever the cave of ordeals or whatever it is. Oh, you think there might be a Poe in there at night? When in doubt, blow it up. It didn't work though, nothing happened. I don't know what that was for. Okay. This is as good a place as any. If only we weren't under attack. Okay, let's do a save, and then let me get those amiibo cards. Oops. And, um, I want to do that cave. Where the heck are my cards? I just had them. Hmm. I swear I just had them. Oh, here they are. New Monster Maze video just dropped. Oh, nice. What's it about? I love his videos. He has like really good um, animations and graphics in his videos. So you gotta be in the collection screen. Cave of Shadows. Okay, that's where we're going. Save and begin. Does it matter that I don't have full health? It's called The Future of Zelda Part 1 Dungeons. Ooh, fun. Your enhanced power has opened a new path. Oh boy. Oh, I okay, they gave me full hearts. Um Has anybody else been watching the Zelda dudes playthroughs? I'm watching their Skyward Sword one. I'm addicted. What are you doing, Artie? The Zeldudes, it's um, Zeltic and Zelda Master playing through all the Zelda series. Oh, that was dumb. Get this one. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, he got me. Took a heart. 
Can I... Yeah, there we go. Mmm. Ah, oh, okay. Almost had him. Okay. I watched a few of their playthroughs. I like their podcast episodes. I have not seen any of their podcast episodes. I just have the playlist saved and I go straight to that one playlist. So I haven't seen really anything else that they've been doing. Oh gosh, they got me. I'm pretty sure while you're in here, you can scan other amiibos and get your hearts and stuff refilled, which I might do. Depending on, like, how dangerously close to death we get. Can't gamble, so might as well. Oh, you're giving points away. You can't gamble? Oh gosh, that, that theme is scary in this dark room. Spooky! Do you have to stay as Wolf Link? Yes. For this one, you do. Okay. Big boys again. But, oh no, I thought there was a, a fifth one. Let's see how many we can get at once. Actually, can we get them all? Yes, all four at once. Nice. Okay. And they don't give you health in here. I don't think anyways. You know what else we'll have to go do is the... Whatever cave it is that the fairies are in. The fairy design in this game, they're probably the most like... What would you call it? Um, I don't know. Normal, I guess, of like any great fairy design. Except for the fact that they're like totally topless. That's a little weird, but they're very, very like human looking in this game. Streamlabs won't let you gamble? Okay, try it. Just try it again. I want to see. Because it's a little bit odd for it to just not be working for one person. Alright, I mean, so far, not so bad. <laughs> Just a room full of bats? Oh boy. Okay, not bad. Oh, look at the wolf heads on both sides of the door up there. Now, the circle's probably not big enough for these guys, do you think? Just out of reach. Ooh. Hurry up, Link! Now, the other cave where those fairies are, you're refighting a bunch of, like, huge enemies. I happen to remember something about, like, mm, not bosses per se, but I remember like those big ice enemies. But that one's all as human link. Oh right, you have to get these guys their uncovered booties. Ooh, they're taking me out. Really doing some damage there. Run away! Ooh! Oh, come on. I guess the, the best time to get them is after they've charged. <laughs> I really can't tell if I'm hurting them or not. There we go. Is that the last one? Nope. 
Okay. I'm not even really sure what the reward for this cave is, actually. Oh, look at that. Oh, too bad I don't have... Hmm, yeah, too bad I don't have arrows. Because those would be easy to just take out with arrows. Or with Midna. <laughs> that was effective. Oh, there's more. More? Nope. I don't know if we've ever been this far down in here before. Oh, spiders. Let's try this again. Yeah, that's pretty effective, I'd say. Missed that one though, Link. Wolf Link's attacks really are not that strong, I'd say. All right, further down we go. Is it letting you gamble? I missed it. The fairy cave was really hard in this game. Yeah, I remember it being pretty difficult. I'll, I don't know, I just have like some, I have uh, really bad memories of the, um, whatever room has that. Um, the ice monsters. I just remember dying a lot on that floor for some reason. Can I, um, let me see if I can scan something to give me some heals. What did we determine gives you heals? Shall I try, like, this one? This is Wind Waker Midna. Yes! Oh, yeah! Oh! Oh! Oh, I thought maybe we were done. This looks like a very bright room. It's just a, a fire room. I really... Yeah, I wouldn't pick Wolf Link as my go-to choice for fighting a lot of these enemies in this cave. Okay, not so bad. Whoa. Okay, that wasn't bad. The chew jelly room, nice. <laughs> The first time I played the fairy cave, I hit a glitch where it wouldn't let me progress. Oh no. Wait, how many levels are there? 45. Oh look, there's the gold jelly. That's supposed to be like super special jelly. Ooh, they just morphed into one. Gross. Hurry up, Link. You're gonna morph. Yeah, that's a big old jelly there. Looks like a big old leech. Another one. More? Here, I don't see any more. Ah, here we go. Must be hiding on the ceiling. Are we done, or what? Oh, there it goes. That was weird. It was like a delay. Oh, the rats. Okay, we're gonna have to be in our- use our senses for these. How do you, um... There we go. So gross. It's so gross, too, how they weigh you down. Nasty. And we're done. Cave of Ordeals, appropriate name. 50 levels. I wonder how many levels this one is. 
Also, I wish it told you how far down you were. Link, get out of the sand! Let's see if we can mid head these things. Well, sorta. why these little things are a little bit I think they're just small and hard to aim at as wolf link and the sand makes it makes things not super simple okay let's midna these ones or not I think there's yeah one more nice Rusty, thank you so much. Night 024, welcome to the Desert B Game server. Oh, nice. We got a new member in our server. Welcome. And welcome to the Yellow Heart Gang. <laughs> Those enemies are freaking. Yes. <laughs> At night 024, welcome to the Desert B Games Discord server and to the Yellow Heart Game. Yellow welcome, heart, welcome. Yellow Heart, Yellow Heart. <laughs> yellow Heart, Yellow Heart. Thank you, Rusty. I think I might be covered in bugs right now. Oh my gosh, come on. He's not dying. Oh, there he goes. Now, are we covered in bugs? Return to this place once you have grown stronger. What does that mean? Well, I guess we beat it, but that's as far as we can go. All that for 50 rupees? What? I'll get you out of here. You sure there's nothing else you need to do, right? We're sure. But I guess the whole thing is that, like, the reason that you want to do this, right, is, yeah, new record. Uh, damage received. <laughs> okay. Amiibo used. Oh, look, it says I used a Zelda Amiibo. Ooh, it tracks? Save newly updated data to the Wolf Link Amiibo. Yes. So that's the reason that you want to do this. Um, is because say you got the the wolf link amiibo and you want to scan it in on your breath of the wild file it's only going to have three hearts but if you play this if you get all 20 hearts in this game you play the cave of ordeals then you go save your file like i just did and then you scan your amiibo into breath of the wild again you're going to have that many hearts in your breath of the wild wolf link so that's why you want to do that, I guess. Which will come in handy once we start playing Breath of the Wild again. Should I gamble them all in one go? Wait, Ikea, wait, all your points? Once you once you have more... Okay, yeah, yeah. Mark, what's up? All right, so let's save and let's switch over to Mario. Cave of Shadows is 40. Hmm, okay. I wonder how many we just did. And yeah, I'll just not hit yes. And let's switch over to um to Mario. Let's do this. I brought the dogs some uh, midstream beef jerkies. The further you go in the game, the more rooms open up. Okay. Get my switch on. And let's get some beef turkeys. You won't get a heart piece from this cave, though. Yeah, I guess that is true. I kind of forgot about that. Freya, what's up? One for you. Also, look at how big these things are. It's humongous. These giant here down. Ooh. 
<laughs> like these giant old beef jerkies. <laughs> um, let me see, let me see. Let me catch up on the chat here. Looks like you did 20 levels, okay. So I guess I probably shouldn't go back to that cave until I... Hmm, I guess until I have 20 hearts or as many hearts as I'm gonna get. Or you write someone else's 20 heart save file to your amiibo. Okay, that's smart, yes. What time is it for me? It is 2.50. PM. Redeem Mario. It is Mario time. Dog cam. <laughs> yep, while she's munching on that beef jerky. <laughs> okay. Now I want beef jerky. <laughs> well, you don't want this one. Maybe actual beef jerky, yes. Okay. I beat Mario 64 back in the day. Nice. Only once? I've beat that game so many times. It's definitely my favorite Mario. Okay. Stardew. Let me make sure that we are on a new day here. Make sure that I saved. Okay, yeah. Still in bed. Safe and sound. Still in bed. Star, Ira, and Robin says hi to everyone. We'll tell them we said hi. So it lets me give points to people, but I can't gamble at all. It's so stupid. I haven't seen you try to gamble. Perfectly placed to watch her nom the jerky. I know. <laughs> Loves those cow strips. Yep. Yeah, they love those. I don't really know how that surgery is going to affect her because the it's in her neck. So I'm kind of like, I don't know if howling is going to be painful for her or even like eating. I'm really not sure. I guess we'll find out. <sighs> I just want them to do it and get it over with. <laughs> And they told me it is gonna be like, <laughs> they told me it's gonna be probably about $4,500 if they don't have to, if there's no like additional complications or anything. For her surgery. Which I guess is kind of not terrible as far as surgeries go. My friend, um, her dog has a torn ACL and she said that her dog's surgery was gonna be over $5,000. Okay, so I, what's our star? Slip sliding away. So let's go ahead and just do that one first. Which will be right in here. Okay, did you try it, Kelly? Let me see, let me see. I literally don't see where you said gamble, Kelly. I don't even see your message. I'm not even sure I'm doing the gamble right. Oh, um, you just have to do, so um, night zero, do exclamation points and see how many points you have. And then you can gamble um, as many points you have or something, you know, less than what you have. I'm not sure how many times I'm too old to remember. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Be like a drunken sailor from the knockout duo, Piper. <laughs> yes. Yeah, she's going to be passed out. Do you like Rivali as a champion? He's your favorite. Wow, that's surprising. I feel like nobody likes Rivali. Um, I don't like his personality, but I like his ability. Oh boy. I probably should have taken the shortcut, honestly. Oh geez. I 
And over the ice bridge. And isn't there supposed to be? Oh, maybe you get it when you go out the door. Yeah, there we go. What do you mean you can't see my gambles? Like, see how Jellyfish just typed exclamation gamble 12? Where's yours? Yeah, nobody can see them, which is kind of why I'm like, are you sure you're actually typing something? Oh, CC lost another thousand points. Bummer. Okay. It's our favorite little crying penguin. If you guys played this um, before, you'll remember this poor little dude. How do I pick him up? Ugh. Grab him, Mario. What the heck? Wait, is this the right penguin, though? I don't actually remember. Oh, why can't I grab this little penguin? Maybe you gotta be just, like, right on top of him. Is that not how you pick him up? Like, I'm pretty sure you just grab. There we go. Now, let me see if this works. There is a shortcut back here. But I don't know if you can do it with the penguin. Hmm, maybe not. This is supposed to warp you down to basically pretty much where the mother penguin is. Well, that's unfortunate because now we're going to have to carry this thing all the way down. Anyways, most people who have played this game before usually end up chucking this thing off the edge of the world at some point because it's so annoying to listen to. Oh no, and then you drop it if you do that. Okay, not so bad. But we're gonna have to take the lift, or do we? No, we have to take this bridge. I guess you could take the lift, although I don't know if the lift is working. Let's see, because the lift might be easier than that bridge. There's supposed to be a lift here, but I don't see it, so maybe the lift isn't working yet. Oh boy. All right, I guess we'll just go behind the snowman, take the bridge, giving baby Mario vibes. <laughs> the little penguin? Get back to work, mom. <laughs> oh, is mom gambling? <laughs> she must be on break. No, don't drop the penguin! There... Yeah, okay, so we can hear the mother down there. I thought that there was another baby penguin, though. Oh, jeez. Maybe I'm wrong. Alright, this better be your baby. You found my precious, precious baby! Where have you been? I do have this star. Take this with my eternal gratitude. Is that what she said? From Yoshi's Island? Wait. Oh, I guess... I, I don't know that I ever actually played that. Baby Mario's in that game? Wow. And look at that. Mom won 10,000 points. Oh my goodness. You've got almost 250,000 points. Okay. What's next? Nothing can be as bad as that. Big penguin race. Okay, so we're going back in here. And now we have to race the big penguin. Freya, what's up? Hey, uh, Mario buddy, how's it going? Step right up, you look like a fast sledding kind of guy. All right, let's go. Now, when you race this guy, you cannot cheat, which is why I probably should have just gone through the, um, the shortcut the first time I did this. I'm pretty sure he'll call you out if you cheat. Whoa, buddy. Right on my tail there. Oh, geez. Those sharp turns are tough. Oh my gosh, no! How did he do that? Oh, 
Jeez. Okay, we win. <laughs> I was struggling there for a minute. I was a bit stressed. All right, talk to me, big guy. You broke my record. Unbelievable. I knew that you were the coolest. Now you've proven that you're also the fastest. Okay. I love how every star in this game, like, you can really just kind of, like, jump in, knock out a star real quick, and then... And then be done and go right back in. Except for the eight red coin run. That one's always the, the hardest. Yeah. Gotta get some gambling in. <laughs> Frosty slide for eight red coins. Here we go. Here we go. Um, I have a question. Do you like Rivali? Um, as like a character, he's kind of a jerk, I think. Okay, where to start? I guess, let's start looking for the red coins. Ooh, but we're gonna have to do the 100 star run. So let's do this actually first. I mean, 100 coins. Did I say star or coins? I don't know what I said. I don't want to race you. Let me see if there's a... I seem to have a memory of there being a blue coin button, but maybe not. Nope, don't race. We just wanna go for a casual little slide for some coins. I'm not jumping because I feel like that always messes me up. And we won't take the shortcut because we need the coins. Oh gosh, no. Yeah, I like Rivali's ability. I don't really so much care for him, I don't think. Except I did like in um, Age of Calamity that he kind of got a little less snooty. He kind of like redeemed himself a little bit in Age of Calamity. Congratulations, thanks. <laughs> Nathan is back. Welcome back. Eric, what's up? How's your day going, Bee's mom? <laughs> Oh no! Jeez, that was close! There's a fly or something in here, that was gross. What'll be our after stream activity? I don't know. What should our after stream activity be? Okay, that's three. We're already up to 80 coins, though. Um, I'm trying to think if there's an eight red coin over there. I hope not. Mario Kart. Mario Kart's an option. I'm trying to get the galaxy sword right now in Stardew Valley. Mm, what else? We could do some Gertrude time. Um, Gertrude time. Mario Kart. Stardew. Um, I don't know. Those are probably like the, the main choices. Super Mario Brothers 3. Okay, there's an eight red coin. Ah, oh, no. See, there's another penguin right down there. I just saw it. They want to trick you into thinking maybe that's the actual baby, but it's not. Okay, then this is always a tough jump, but there we go. 87 coins. Now, where are these going to appear? Okay. Just two? Come on. Oh, how many coins do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so there's one right there, but that's also where the star is going to spawn. And I don't remember how to get there. Let me see. I guess we're going down. Oh, okay, there's our 100 coin star. Very nice. Here we go. I have a slight headache. Oh no. Oh, Mario Wonder would be fun too. We could do Mario Wonder. 
This game is a classic and many great games from that era. Agreed, agreed. <laughs> Perfect timing, Yuki Ryu. Okay, where are the other red coins? Severe tongue pain? What in the world? Why? What'd you do? Okay, um... Let me go all the way back to the top, maybe? Because I don't know... I'm missing, like, two coins. Two red coins. Ow. Uh, let me go down here. It's possible there's one down here. Let me think, let me think. Scooby won almost 20,000 points. Nice. Harper, guys, it's Kelly on a different account. What's up, Kelly? On a different account. Okay, I'm gonna go up and come back down one more time because I really don't want the last coin to be way over there where I have to shoot myself through the cannon. So let me go up. Isn't this a, a fast travel thing? Am I not going? Rip me! No! Mamma mia! Mamma mia! Okay, well, I guess at least I got the hundred coin star. <laughs> Okay. Okay, there's one. Why isn't this thing working? I swear it's a fast travel. Well, there it goes. Also, I just saw the quick way to get down to the thing. So, keep that in mind for later. Yeah, rip me. Give me a rip Mario. Okay, I'm gonna just, um... I don't know. Maybe I should go check over there. I don't remember there being one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, ready for blast off. Redeem Rip Mario. Is it working? Oh, I bet it's all one word. No spaces. <gasps> well, rip Mario again. I wonder if the cannons will stay activated. I don't know. I really don't think that the red coin's over there. There it is. <laughs> that classic Mario death sound. Raya, thank you so much. Hi, B. Do you like Revali as a champion? No. I mean, I like his ability. I don't really like him. I just don't like how he hates Link so much. And he's so, like, cocky. It's not just Link, either. In Age of Calamity, he's just kind of overall... <gasps> kind of a jerk. <laughs> Here's one. Surely I didn't miss this last time. We got a Revali fan in here. We do. A Revali fan. All right, I know there's one like right here. Okay. That's three. Dang it. Here's four. Let me go all the way down and we'll get the ones down at the bottom. And then I'm just really not sure where the number seven is. You know what? Both Rivali and Tulin's ability are best for exploring. Yeah, they really are. I think Rivali's probably the best um, champion to get first in Breath of the Wild just because it opens up. Well, you know, you don't have to do so much climbing. All right, how many is this? Oh, that's seven. Okay, well, I don't know where I got the extra coin, but can I go up? Actually, never mind, never mind. 
Hi B, do you like Ravali as a champion? I love him. I love him. <laughs> Thank you, Freya. But unfortunately, I do not like Rivali's attitude. I like his ability, all right. Okay, let's just take a look before we go diving off the edge of things. No! Put me back. Let me see if I can just do a quick, um, do a quick look-see. Okay, if I, I think if I aim for the, this side. Okay, stop, stop, stop. That wasn't so bad. And there's our last coin. And then the star is... Hmm. Not where I thought it was. I thought it was going to be on this ledge. I think it's over there, which is uh, really s annoying because this jump right here is not always super easy. Okay, we did it. Nice. Here we go. Yes, I agree. I wanted more of Revali Redemption Arc. Same. Same. Um. Oh, dang, Scooby, look at you. Good grief, for some reason your video keeps freezing on me, but the sound keeps going? Oh, weird. I hope it's not me. Could you add Mipa's theme and I'm claiming it? Okay, sure, let me write it down. Just for Ikea. Mifa's... Oops, I spelled it wrong. Mifa's theme... For Ikea. Alrighty. Yeah, I don't have any of the champion's themes. I wonder why I haven't done that yet. Snowman's lost his head. Okay, the snowman's head's right... Here. I need a good head on my shoulders. You know of anybody in need of a body? Go, go, go. <gasps> oh, gosh. I think that thing will actually crush me. Now, there's kind of a trick. You don't want it to get too, too, too far behind you. Because it's got to follow you. Where'd it go? Follow me. Follow me. No. Well, I'm throwing myself off the cliff. Oh, there's a, a an updraft down there. Mamma mia. Let's see, let me see. Um Let me catch up on the chat. My favorite champion is Mifa. I feel like a lot of people do like Mifa. Oh, well, yeah, a lot of people like Mifa. Let's go. She's, I don't know. I don't really like her character very much either, to be honest. I don't know. She kind of, she kind of annoys me. Okay, let's do it again. Oh, no! I don't know if I'm going to catch up to it now. Mm, maybe, but I don't know if I can... Oh, gosh. Now we're stuck in the snow. Mario, quit messing around. Well, I don't know if it'll still follow me, but maybe. Right here, right here. Ah! It passed by it again! How many lives do I have? I don't know if I can keep doing this. About four. Maybe I should start exiting stage. Um... This is Harper Kelly Sun. I will not be using her account anymore. Okay. Okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Is it just me, or have we been talking about Rivali for a long time? <laughs> uh, well, somebody was asking about him. Let's see. I think Urbosa is my favorite champion in Age of Calamity, but not in Breath of the Wild. Rivali has a redemption in his journal. Maybe a pre-redemption. He says he was going to resign as a champion once he learned the Link was the leader. <laughs> That's funny. I think I do remember reading that. He changed his mind after looking into Zelda's eyes and seeing her concern for the kingdom. Rivali may be arrogant, but he demonstrates several times that he cares about everyone's well-being. I guess. But only ever in, like, a journal. I still really can't get over his attitude, though. Oh, gosh. I don't know if we're gonna make it. You know what? Let me drop down here. 
And let me see if it'll follow me now. Okay, you gotta go, Mario. Oh, jeez. How are you supposed to get this thing on to the pedestal? You just gotta stay right ahead of it, I think. I think Urbosa's ability in Age of Calamity is cool, but Revali is still my favorite. That's fair. Between, oh, by the way, Breath, uh, wait, Urbosa is my favorite. Mine too. All right, let me get up here. Now go for it, Mario. Don't slow down. I don't know. I don't know if I should go fast here or not. I feel like yes. And then maybe get on foot. And go like this. And I'm just going to stop right here and let it crush me. Finally. Woo. I might be biased since I have her English voice actor's autograph. Wait, who? Where, where, where? Oh, Urbosa for the win. Oh, that's fun. You have her a voice actor's autograph. That's so cool. Did you see them at like a, a con or something? Am I supposed to talk to this? Yeah, there we go. What a great new body. Here's a present for you. Thank you. Give me that star. I don't like Revali because he's so mean to Link. I know, that's the same. Same for me. Nothing's wrong with being cocky if you've got the skills. Ask Michael Jordan. <laughs> I guess. And he does have skills. I mean... No, I don't agree with that. You still should not be an absolute jerk. Which he pretty much is. Um... Daffy Duck, what's up? I think somebody else said hi, too, and I missed it. Um, I don't see it now. Sorry if I missed it. Rusty, thank you for the gifted membership for Mr. G. Welcome. I respect that her boss is cool. She's my favorite out of the girls. True, true. I meant in terms of playability. I like everyone's ability in Breath of the... Oh, yeah, that's true. Me and her boss's storylines are my favorite. Mm, sorry, I'm just catching up on the chat. She and the Zelda voice actress came to my local anime convention a few years ago. Oh, that's fun. Rusty, another gifted membership. Thank you, Lily, the shiny Gardevoir. Welcome. <laughs> okay, last um, star in this game, in this world, I mean. Hmm, actually, let's do this. Let's warp. Who's taller? Mario, Luigi, Warrior, Waluigi, Peach, Daisy. Oh my gosh. Probably Bowser out of that list. I assume Bowser's the biggest. Okay. This one's tough. We have to aim for that tree. So let me try to line it up right in the center. I really shouldn't have moved it, probably. Okay, just gentle. Come on. Oh. Hmm. I don't know if Mario will grab it. Here, let me do this. There we go. And then how far up should... Oh, no, I went to the side. Oh, this is probably close-ish. Close enough, maybe? I don't know, let's try this. Oh boy! Oh, saved by the fence. Okay. I think I'm just gonna ignore these things. And here we go. So this little thing, this can be kind of tough to do sometimes, but let's see how we do. Because, now the reason is because this one, um, you can get up here from one jump, but right here you have to time it. Ah, oh, there we go. Nice. You have to do at least two jumps right there on that wall kick or you don't get high enough and it's hard to get your jumps just right. But first try, what do you know? I was trying to get Harper a sub. Oh, <laughs> didn't 
doesn't work. Let's see. Have you played any of the knee? No, I don't even know what those games are. Who's taller, Mario, Luigi? I think Waluigi's taller than all of them. Okay, that's all the stars in that world. I think that means that we're ready for our first Bowser fight. Because we did that world. We did that world, we did that world. Let's check this. Oh, oh, but we can't get this one for quite a while. We have to unlock the metal cap, which is a little ways off. So let's go fight Bowser. There's only two female champions. There's only two male champions. Not too sure about Mipa. I don't know. Mipa always just kind of annoyed me. Woo! Oh, shoot. Should we do the red coins first? I'm thinking maybe. I don't know if this works. Oh, I can't actually. Never mind. Can't you play as Luigi in this game? Nope, not in this game. Oh, did you guys notice? I forgot to point it out that when you get close to that picture, at first it's a picture of Peach, and then as you get closer, it changes to Bowser. Okay, so I don't think you need 100 coins in this world, or do you? Bowser in the dark world. I don't know if you need 100 coins here, or just the eight coins. I want to say it's just the eight. Because I feel like getting 100 coins here would be really difficult. A one-up! But now I'm second-guessing myself. I don't know. Do you guys know? Do you need 100 coins here, or is it just the eight? Anybody that's played this before? Isn't the music in this in the Bowser world so cool though? Three, well, rip those three. We're at 27. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I was trying to catch up on the chat. Is because she sort of got in the way of Z-Link. <laughs> well, Kind of, I guess. I don't know. I think I just don't like her personality. She's just so soft-spoken and, um, like, timid or something, I guess. I don't know. I'm always just like, Mipa, will you just say it? Just say it. Okay. There's definitely an eight over there. And I thought there was a switch around here somewhere that would make a platform where that first one was that I died for. That was weird. But... I don't know where the switch is. Okay, these are always interesting. Oh gosh, why did they put a red coin right there? It's like... I think it's right under me. Ooh, okay. That was five. I feel like I'm still missing a bunch. Let me go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wrong type of jump there. Let's try this. There's one all the way over there. <gasps> oh, gosh. Oh, no. I can't see what's happening. Okay. Let me try that again. The Bowser music was in Mario 64 Nintendo DS version. Mario Galaxy. So this song's in Mario Galaxy as well? Cool. Yeah, I think this is probably my favorite song in the whole game. Just sounds so cool. I'm not gonna go for that one up. That sounds dangerous. Hmm, you would think that we'd have run into that switch by now. How many red coins do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. 
So then, where's seven? Because I know where eight is. Let's take a look for X Zelda was only friends with Urbosa because the queen was her best friend. So after the queen passed, Urbosa became Zelda's mother figure. That's why Urbosa... Wait, what does that have to do with her um, not liking the Yiga clan? Top two of... Wait, two on top of blocks that appear on activation of a purple switch. Okay. Next to the third crystal in the second section. Oh, okay. I'm just going to go for it. Oh, no. <laughs> I went down right next to it. Okay. Two on blocks that appear. Okay, okay. Is there one back here? Nope. Oh, here's a switch. What does this switch do? Oh, duh. I don't know why. It didn't even cross my mind to try that. Rusty, do you have to get 100 coins in this world, too? Mamma mia. That's death, yeah. That was death. Okay. Let me do this. Oh, gosh. Rusty the guidebook. Eight above. Wait, 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 wait. Hold, hold, hold. I gotta go back and read these. Three, four. Um, two on top of blocks that appear. Okay. Three next to the stone cube obtained when the yellow rectangular block protrudes to the side. Hold on, I don't know if I know what that means. Yellow rectangular block? Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, okay. I, I know what you mean. Hello? There we go. And then you said something about the crystals right here. Oh yeah, here's one. So that's my number two. And then there's a number three right here. Oh boy. Oh. Drop, Mario. And then here's the number four. Hold on, let me see. Wiki doesn't show a 100 coin mission. Okay. Thank goodness. I mean, I was up to 70, so maybe it is doable. Let me get rid of this guy. That was close. Now what am I at? Five. Okay, let me see, let me see. Eight above the far left platform that overhangs the seesaw. Okay, so where the heck are the rest of them? Mamiya indeed, Mario. <laughs> Next to the stone cube. Obtained when the yellow, okay, we got that one. In the far left corner where the two platforms circle each other, we got that one. Next to the pin, we just got that one. Behind the second seesaw. Behind the second, oh, over here, I think. And then there is, here's this one. So that's six. And then seven will be up here. Oh boy. But where's eight? Oh. How do you get that? I see it. Way over there in the corner, but where's the switch for that? 
Oh, I wonder if it's the same switch. Oh boy. Tree time? Is it time for treats? Time for treats, Piper? Tree time, tree time. Okay, I know where it is. We just have to go back and get it. There's two that are by the buttons. Okay. We got cosplays for Marvel, DC, Doctor Who, Steampunk, you name it. Oh, at your, um, the convention? That sounds fun. I'm gonna jump because I have no patience. What kind of clothes do Mario and all them... Wait, what? What do they wear? I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean, what kind of clothes? I'm gonna jump. Okay. Made it safe and sound. Now we just have to do the switch. Ah, oh, missed. Here we go. Nice. Yeah, this one was well hidden. Easy does it. Please, Mario. Oh, boy. That looks rather far. If we die before we get to that star, I'm going to be very upset. Where was it at again? Not this platform, but one that looks very similar. I hope it's up this way. Hmm, I hope I didn't pass it. Oh, could it be on the needle? Oh gosh, did we pass it? Now I don't remember what the platform looked like. Where's my star? <gasps> Mario, jeez. This isn't it. Can we see it like floating around somewhere? How in the world did I lose the star? It was like, the platform looked like that platform, but kind of different. Could it be up by the, the, maybe it's by the um, pipe. Let me see, let me see. How have you been doing very well with four lives? <laughs> I've played this a lot. Okay, I'm gonna assume that it's up here by the pipe. I hope that's where it is. Hit the switch, up we go. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. And now it's probably gonna exit me. Is it another power star? Oh, good. So we can just jump right in and fight Bowser. Upon Mario collecting all the red coins, the power star appears near the warp pipe. Okay, thank you. Tough luck, Mario. Princess Toadstool is in here. Go ahead. Just try to grab me by the tail. You'll never be able to swing me around. A wimp like you won't throw me out of here. He just told me exactly what to do. The hard part, though, is seeing where the bombs are, because as you can see, you actually can't see anything. So I'm going to guess... I always try to line my thumb up with where Bowser's at, because otherwise, how do you know where you're flinging him? Hmm... Oh, I hit the wrong button. Okay, swing. I'm gonna go for the right-ish, because I think I saw a bomb over that way. What? What button is it? What the heck? Maybe it's this button. Bye bye Oh, he says bye bye now! <laughs> oh, I forgot to jump. Gotta love copy-paste. <laughs> Yep. You gotta love those online guides, too. Okay. Top left. I mean, top right corner. 
Oh, it's so hard to choose when to do it. Uh, missed. I can't believe it. Sa he says bye bye now. That sounds so weird. Can I just like bait him close to a bomb, maybe? Let me see if he'll just waddle this way. Oh yeah, he sure did. Took the bait. His nose is practically touching. Actually, let me just slow down. There we go. <laughs> That's one way to do it. Woo! <laughs> I was a bit careless. This was not as I had planned, but I still hold the power of the stars and still have Peach. You'll get no more stars from me. I'm not finished with you yet, but I'll let you go for now. Nice. Bye bye. <laughs> How's Mario able to grab him and spin him like that? Mario's got his own superpowers. What did we do back then? Without the online guides, you mean? Struggled. Forever and ever. Okay, what world's next? Now we can go in the basement. So we just got a big old key, but it doesn't work for this door. It's for the basement. So we could do, we could do the scary world now. And then this is the keys for this door. Mario's so short, he can't even reach the keyhole. <laughs> but I think let's go do the, um, let's go do the scary world. I forget what it's called. I always called it the Haunted Mansion. Mario must work out in secret to be strong like that. He must. Missed. There we go. What is this world called? Oh, Big Boo's Haunt. Go on a ghost hunt? Let's do it. Let me think, go on a ghost hunt. I'm not sure that I really remember what all the stars are in this world. There's supposed to be ghosts around, I think, maybe? Hmm, but I don't see any. I hear them, but I don't see them. This was always my favorite world when I was a kid. It's like spooky, but fun. Maybe is this one of our ghosties? Ghosts don't die. Can you get out of here alive? <laughs> oh, gosh. Get the eyeball. Okay, so then that was one of our ghosties. Happy Barra, you are late. I thought it was so long, Big Bowser, which was actually closer to what he's really saying. Yeah, that's what it used to be. But they changed it to... And now it just sounds weird to me because I'm so used to it being the old way. Time limit. Um, I don't know what time limit means. Is that another ghosty? I probably gave myself nightmares playing this um, level when I was a kid, but I loved it so much. There were magazine guides back in the day. Oh, like, um, are you talking about like, um, just like the book, the just paperback guides or whatever? We had those when I was a kid because the internet wasn't really a thing yet. I mean, it was coming. It was kind of becoming a thing, but wasn't quite a thing. Oh, you know what? Is there something in here? No, this is the piano room. Maybe I need to go outside? Where's the door? Oh, there it is. Let's check the shed. Another eyeball. Hmm. 
need the sun song in this world to bring us some daylight. Charles Martha said the line so long. He didn't say so long, gay Bowser. He says, and you mean Charles Martin Ed. Um, he said, he's just got an accent, so it sounds like he's saying, he's saying like so long, Bowser, like with a little bit of an inflection on the G. And that's exactly why they changed it, because people said that, but that wasn't really what he was saying. And so now we have bye bye instead, and I think it's lame. This is not where I want to be. I swear, I thought that there was... Well, are there ghosts in here? Let me check again. Hmm, I have a memory of there being ghosts in here, but maybe it's part of the fight that you do later. Club Nintendo, which became Nintendo Power. Wait, what? What does that mean? All the Boo levels are my favorite. Boo is my favorite Mario character. Same! I love Boo. Is this just the exit? I swear there's gotta be some ghosts down here. <laughs> the arty cam is on here. And just. Get her whole nose in there. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know why there's water down here either, actually. There's nothing in it. Okay, then let's get out of this shed. Mario, grab the side. There we go. How do we get out of here? That's back into the merry-go-round, isn't it? Here we go. Uh, let's see. It's what we did for tips, tricks, and info. Oh, what was it called? Mar or Nintendo? Let me go see your message again. Because that, I don't remember ever seeing that before. Where was it at? Club Nintendo, which became Nintendo Power. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember that. We just had like the um, the book guides. Like I had a book guide to um, Ocarina of Time. I'm pretty sure I think I had one to this game. I think I had one to Banjo-Kazooie as well. And no, you do not need to be a member to get channel points. They, you just get them as you watch. So do if you do points, exclamation points, you can check them. Ghosts don't die. Can you get out of here alive? Oh, Tower of Terror, the Big Boo. Okay, so that that was it. Now we've got to go fight Big Boo. I'm not really sure how many that was. Also, check the moon out in this world. Where's it at? Oh, isn't that so cool? And look at the creepy trees. So cool. Yeah, the boo worlds are so fun in Mario games. Okay, this is big boo. He's a big boy. Yeah. Yeah. You actually get to fight him twice in this yeah. world. Yeah. 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 He didn't stand a chance. Oh, yeah. And then that just unlocked the second floor of the mansion. Do you like Mario Bros. movie? Yeah, I love the Mario Brothers movie. I thought it was hilarious. And it was really fun seeing all the little like secrets and throwbacks to different old games and stuff. Like they've even got a little duck hunt thing in the um the very, very, very beginning of the movie. Ride Big Boo's Merry-Go-Round. Okay. Down to the Merry-Go-Round. So let's just not even go inside.
That's the first time give worked for you? I don't know why, the give command is a bit odd sometimes. He's spooky. <laughs> well, he's a ghost. You got this, B. Well, now we're gonna do another one. My doggo was sleeping behind me, but she heard a bark from up the street and immediately began her investigation. Is this the exit? Nope, I guess not. It looks very much like the exit. Um, nope, not that way. Where was that merry-go-round? I hear it. Here it is. Okay. Oh, they've got a bunch of queens. So I think you just have to fight a bunch of the boos until we get Big Boo to come out. Actually, so there he is, yeah. Do you actually have to fight him three times in this world? I was thinking only twice, but actually I think it's three. <laughs> come on, Mario. Here we go. On the spooky merry-go-round. <laughs> Nintendo fan club news preceded Nintendo Power as a newsletter sent to club members for free. In mid-1988, it was discontinued after seven issues in favor of Nintendo Power magazine. Hmm. It'd be kind of fun if they um, still did things like that, don't you think? Because sometimes I really hate going to the internet and looking up a clue because sometimes you don't just see, like, a clue. You see the whole thing. And it'd be kind of nice sometimes just to, like, I don't know, have something that you could refer to, like a guide book, I guess. Secret of the Haunted Books. Haunted Library. OG Mario Bros. made me rage. Oh, like, the first one? The original? Yeah. Even Super Mario Bros. 3 is really tough, I think. When you get to, like, worlds, I don't know, like, what, 6 through 8, I guess? Okay, where's that creepy library? Actually, is the library upstairs? Let's see. Sorry, I was just trying to catch up on the chat. What's your favorite Mario game? I think this one for sure, just cause, um, probably like nostalgia reasons, cause I played it as a kid so much. Hmm, nope, that's not it. Here it is. Oh, geez. Okay, so let's see. Yep. Easy. Now what did that do? Oh. Yeah. Opened up. Okay, that was easy. That was like a 30 second star. The original Mario Brothers was the Plumber Arcade game. <laughs> Wait. The Plumber Arcade? I've never heard of that. But I did hear that the first time Mario ever appeared was actually in a Donkey Kong game, right? As, like, Jumping Man or something like that. Sir Tucker! Let's hear it. When does a joke become a dad joke? When it becomes a parent. <laughs> <laughs> so good, so good. What is a star? Seek the eight red coins. Okay, it's time for our coin hunt. Yeah, here we go. There's always coins in these. Hopefully I wasn't supposed to get on the roof with those. And then let's go for the ghosts again because those guys had like five coins each. Uh, these spiders probably have coins. Ooh, a bunch in there. Here's the ghosties. I think there's gonna be one star in this world that we're not gonna be able to get because it's locked behind a cap. Yes, Donkey Kong and had to rescue Paulina. Donkey Kong rescued Paulina? 
I thought Paulina was an original Mario character. Interesting. Okay, let's grab... Whoa. Give me the block. What the heck? Grab it, Mario. Jeez. Okay, we're up to, what, like 40? 40 even. Oh, check it out. Now, Big Boo resides up here on his balcony. Oh, oh, you can kind of see him floating around up there. I saw him a second ago. Eventually, we're going to have to go up there and fight him, too. Actually, before we go in the mansion, let's go back down here and see what we can get as far as coins down here. I like Super Mario 3. Super Mario Bros. 3. I like Super Mario. Yeah, that'd probably be maybe in, like, my second favorite Mario game. I like that one the best out of, like, the old ones. Well, look, Kelly. It looks like you're gambling now. So it fixed itself? Which world is that? Oh, jeez. Wait, is what? <laughs> I don't remember that happening. Did I just miss that before? Only two? Oh, here's another one. These guys are um, pretty useful for getting those hundred coins. Hmm. Seventy. Oh, well... I don't actually want to fight you again. Let me out of here. Eek! I think the, um... Oh, this world. Yeah, Big Boo's Haunt. Um... Yeah, I could remember it either. I was calling it the Haunted Mansion earlier. Oh my gosh. Did you guys know that there's... So, the Haunted Mansion in Disneyland, there's apparently a replica of that house in... I think it was was it georgia it might have been in georgia i saw i follow this instagram page called zillow gone wild and i saw it and i was like that would be so cool to live in what do you call a fish with no eyes blind <laughs> i don't know <laughs> Why did the cookie go to the doctor? Because he was feeling crummy. <laughs> Why are pirates so cool? They just are. <laughs> nice. Why are those so silly? Check it out. Okay, you guys know this gave you nightmares as a child. Trying to get back here and get the eight red coin from behind the piano. <laughs> it just comes to life. And it doesn't immediately either. It waits until you're like good and stuck back there. Okay. Oh my gosh, you can get coins from those. Come back. Ow. Trying to get positioned so I can get this. Oh, there's another one. We're only at two so far. Where are all the rest of the coins? Hmm. This is the piano room. I never liked that merry-go-round. It's creepy, isn't it? Creepy, creepy, creepy. Oh, a fish with no eyes. I get it. Why did the clown go to the doctor? He was feeling funny. That's ten. Okay, we're close. But we're really, really low on eight coins here. I think the piano shocked me way back. <laughs> Definitely. Got me good when I was little. Ooh. Okay, this is going to be 96. There's a red in here, I think. Yep. And this will be our 100 coin star. Woohoo! Okay, now let's finish up the red coins. 
One behind the mad piano. Since everyone's doing it, I will as well. I'm afraid for the calendar, its days are numbered. <laughs> two and three in the second room to the left on the first floor. Two appear in this room. Okay, we got those. Four on the platform through the door to the far right. I think that's what I just came out of. Yep. Then, fifth in the first room. Okay, on the second floor. First room on the left. Big, nice balcony up there. Oh, that was close. Yikes. No, Mario! Where am I? Oh, that wasn't so bad. But it took me way out. So, six is in the first room on the right. Ooh. Oh, the coffins. Because your haunted mansion wouldn't be complete without a bunch of coffins. And I think they'll squish you. Yeah. Wait, is there only one in this room? Oh, two. Okay, the number eight is across the tilting platform in the right, far right room on the second floor. Far right room, second floor, across from the tilting, oh, right here. Woo! Thanks, Rusty. And let's go back over here, and there's our star. Right in the light of the window. Why can't you trust the king of the jungle? Because he's always lying. <laughs> How do ghosts stay in shape? They exercise. <laughs> wow. What do you guys do? Just go to like dadjokes.com? Back in. Big Boo's balcony. It's time for the big face off. Now, I think... Yeah, I think we gotta go up. Actually, we need to go... Whoops. We need to go up and into the room we were just in. What happened when the grape got squished? It let out a little whine. <laughs> There's like a secret ledge right here, and this takes you out to the balcony. The hardest part's not fighting Boo, it's getting the star that he leaves you at the end of the fight. Because watch this. Oopsies. Two. And come back. Nice. Look at that. What a jerk face. And to get it, so the only way that I really know to get that star is to do this. Go up to the flat part, and then basically baby crawl the whole way up. And because it's kind of a little bit hard to just like see your depth perception, what I typically end up doing is just baby crawling most of the way because I don't want to slide down and have to go all the way back up here. So we're just gonna baby crawl all the way across this roof until I know for sure that we're gonna be safe. Big Boo's, oh, where's Mario going? Big Boo's balcony sounds like an excellent drinking spot. <laughs> I have to go at seven. Well, thanks for hanging. I'm glad the gamble thing started working for you. We did it. We did I tell you that I got a leaf blower to the face today? Oh my gosh. I discovered today that if the wind blows too hard, or not today, this week, if the wind blows too hard, right directly in my face, I feel like I can't breathe. Which I guess is something that you're born with because when 
Oh, this is one we can't do. They tell you never to blow into a baby's face because they'll hold their breath. And literally, that's exactly what happened to me. Like, there, oh, a really strong gust of wind came at me, and I looked toward the direction because I could hear it coming. And when the gust hit me in the face, for a second, I was like, <gasps> like, I couldn't breathe in. And I was like, what is wrong with me? <laughs> okay, should we do post stream something or other? Because I think this is probably a good place for us to stop. Yeah. Hmm, what world's gonna be next? We're gonna be in the dun- in the basement. I almost called it the dungeon. Down to the basement. Um, okay, should we do a poll? A poll for what post stream we want to do? How do you do a poll again? Here we go, start a poll. We could do... Hmm, I feel like we have a lot of options. We could do... We can put Mario Kart. We can put Mario Wonder. I'm a tire. Mm, should we do another one? Oh, I'm gonna put Stardew. Because I'm trying to buy that, or trying to get the um uh the galaxy sword. Okay. Let the poll begin! Oh, you know, Mario Wonder is multiplayer. I kind of, I think. Congrats me. Thanks, Jellyfish. Um. What do cows do when they're bored? They go to the movies. Oh, technically, I bet we could get in here. Yep. But I probably won't do this Bowser fight until we finish the basement. Oh, that's a whole world, too. I forgot about that one. But down here, we're going to have a, a handful of worlds, actually. Does this toad give you a star? I don't know why, for some reason, I have that in my head. Nope. Maybe it's the bunny that's down here. Oh, there's the bunny. This guy's always such a pain to catch. Okay. Straight at it, Mario. Ugh. So here's the desert world. Oh, good reminder for the hydration. Hold on. Ugh, Mario, get him! Oh. Whoopsies. <laughs> Shifting sand land. Get me out of here. Okay, let's see what the polls got. Looks like Mario Kart's winning. How many? We've got 12 votes. I'm not at home or I'd play with you guys. Oh, bummer. Paleo Pines, Sir Tucker. <laughs> Hi, Kelly. Thanks for hanging. So it's, it sounds like it's going to be Mario Kart, I think. What's it called when God helps a tipped cow? Bovine intervention. Treat time, guys. Where are my treats? Oh, here they are. Treat time. Wonder is multiplayer. Yeah. Yeah, Wonders multiplayer, kind of. Um, you you see like the other players, kind of like they're ghosts. But yeah, you can all play in the same world together. Artie, do you want? Okay. Mario Wonder and Stardew Valley are both tied, but Mario Kart's winning. Where is my Mario Kart cartridge? Here it is. Sounds like it's gonna be Mario Kart. Mm. Mario's passed out. 
my poll closed before I could vote? Oh, weird. I'll go with anything other than Stardew. <laughs> okay, I think it's gonna be Mario Kart. So I'm gonna end the poll. And let's switch. Actually, let me think. This is already saved because it saves after every world. So we can just close. And let's um, swap cartridges. Okay. All right, get your Mario Karts on, guys. I'll make us a room. Ugh. Mario Kart! Hey! Mario's little voice. Okay. Mm, online. Let's see if I remember how to make a room. We want to do, do we usually pick? No, I think we pick worldwide, right? It's gotta be worldwide. Oh, wait, 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 what? No, that can't be right. Friends? Oh, here we go, create a room. Create a room for playing privately. Artie, what are you doing? I guess this is my go-to bike. Is it gonna let me create a room? Wait, what did I do? No, 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 go out of here. Leave! What did I do? Oh, maybe I need to do a tournament. Yeah, obviously I forgot how to do this. Here we go. You've already created four tournaments. You can't create another one? Lame. Are these my four right here? <laughs> oh wait, maybe these are mine. Yellow Heart Gang is definitely one of mine. How do you delete? No. I don't know how to do this. Search actives. Wait, how do you delete one? Oh, up at the top. Delete. And let me see if I can delete this one too. See, this one doesn't have the delete thingy on the top, so I'm not sure why that is. Did I make this? Must have. Make sure to do private, okay. That voice, what voice? Mario's voice? Oops. Okay, now I should be able to create one. Create a tournament. Hold on, just out of curiosity, let me go back. What does it do if you just, if you just do friends, create a room? Hmm, I guess it doesn't work, I guess, cause you gotta, does it give you a room ID? Create a room for playing privately with friends. I guess that wouldn't work, would it? Or would it? Let me just try it, because I don't know what this does exactly. It did put me in a room. Show room ID. So I don't know, can, I don't know if you guys are able to join this or not. It'd only be for people you're friends with? Okay. Lame. <laughs> I guess. Wait, who's red? Hold on. I'm joining. Oh, that might be Capybara. Well, let me make another one because I don't know if other people that I don't have them as if on my friend list, I don't know if they're going to want to join too. So let me make a tournament, I guess. Create a tournament because this in a tournament, anybody could join regardless of if you're on my friend list or not. So what's our icon? Let's do boo. Enter a name. We're gonna do Y E H G. Set the rules. 150 CC, normal items. Should we do no com? 
I don't know. What do you do? You guys have a preference? No calm or normal calm? All vehicles, smart steering. Um, just, just fixed. I guess. What is today? The thirtieth. And the start time is gonna be four. And the end time is gonna be whatever at seven. Eight races. Don't know what group shuffling means. Um, code required. There we go. Okay, I think we're gonna go. Go with it like this. I don't know, I'm gonna leave the calm, the computer guys on and let's see how that goes. Cause we've always done no before. And it's just us, I guess. But maybe it'd be more fun with those guys in there too. Okay, did it give me a code? Here's the code. I'll put it in the chat. Two, six, eight, nine. No calm. Oh, well, I already picked calm. Three, zero, nine, nine. Two, six, eight, nine. One, five, zero, five. Three, zero, nine, nine. Okay, there it is. Sir Tucker, do you have Mario Kart yet? Where's my... There it is. Need my chapstick. Hmm. Weird that it doesn't just drop me in there. <laughs> oh, no Mario Kart yet. Okay. Bummer. Searching for players. Does it always do this? Oh yeah, I recognize that Ikea. <laughs> Is that Nathan over on the far right? Wait, Rusty, are you in? Mushroom Gorge? Nice. Oh, somebody got Darunia's quote. I was focused on moving. Ah, oh, that's fair. That's fair. Okay, Ikea, Nate. And then we've got our... Oh, I don't see Capybara either. What happened to you guys? I still have to get internet at my new place. Oh, man. Well... Starting off in fourth. What? Did you see Toad just take off to the side? Or was that... I thought he was taking a shortcut. I haven't played this since the last time we played together, so... Doubting that I've gotten any better. I should really watch some, like, Mario Kart tips and tricks videos or something. Woo! That was cool. You're spectating. Okay. Ah, yes. <laughs> Sorry, Nate. <laughs> Sir Tucker. <laughs> Thank you. You can do it. I don't know if we can, but I'm going to try. Oopsies. Shouldn't have done that. Oh, gosh. But he's got a red turtle out for me. Ugh, I miss the blue shroom. Who just passed us? Oh, this was a, a computer. Wham! There goes Nathan. Who's in first? You got this V <laughs> with the, the creepy Ukos. I don't know. I'm in third. It's not going too well. Yeah, I'm not sure who's in first up there. Surely it's not just the computer, right? It's 
don't hit the Goomba this time. All right, third. I mean, it's not awful. It's not great either. Oh, Nate. Oh, Nate and Nathan. Okay, I was confused. <laughs> you can do it, B. <laughs> Thank you for the cheers. We got third. What's annoying is that I feel like every time I'm playing live, I never do as well as when we play afterwards when I'm not on stream. Do you like the battle mode? Yeah, the battle mode's fun. Okay, so it looks like Capybara and Rusty made it in this time. Oh, look, am I dancing with Ikea? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Nate was in first. Okay, okay. So... Okay, so little dude is Nate, right? I think that's I think that's correct. You did good. Thanks, jellyfish. There's not bad. I'd rather be first though. My me looks so pissed. It really does. You look so upset. Oh look, me and Nate are twinsies. Okay. Oh, are you guys in the Discord chat? <laughs> nice, Yoshi just gave me a boost. Okay, nice. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I see Nate up there. Oh, man. Nate and Nathan, side by side. Come on. I guess I was trying to save that, but... I don't want to use the turtle just yet. Maybe now? I can't tell. Nope, that was a bad move. Darn it. It looked like for a second he was uh, unprotected. Get the doubles. Get him, Rusty. <laughs> Thank you, Sir Tucker. Yeah, get him, Rusty. Where's Rusty? Oh, I think Rusty's way in the back. <laughs> I just need to pass Nathan. All right, we made it to second. Ah, oh, jeez. I had an item, too, that might have been useful, but oh well. We got robbed and shrunk. Ooh. Does he have something up there? I really can't tell. I'm going to go for it. Oh, get out of the way, Link. No! With a green shell? Unbelievable! No! Right at the end! You guys are savages! What the heck? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think I was really close to maybe getting into first, but now definitely not. Ikea just came out of nowhere. Oh boy. Oh, they oh, they already went over the finish line. Oh my gosh, you guys. Go be the, I know, we were doing so good. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> oh, you got me with that green shell. Oh my gosh. Ruined my dreams. I was doing so well. Sweet, sweet canyon, sky garden. Ooh, you know, DK Mountain? That sounds kind of fun. Sky garden sounds terrible. Let's not do that. Good luck. Yeah, Nathan S. Yeah, exactly. What happened at the end there? I got wrecked. Oh, 
Oh, Mark Gibby, I just saw your message. Thanks for hanging. Happy Easter. All right. Oh, look. Nate changed his um, vehicle. Where are we? Oh, is this the DK place? Who is Yoshi? Oh, that's Capybara. Whoa, we're we going in the volcano? This is exciting. Ugh. Hit my banana, yes. Nice. Got Nathan with that one. Ooh. This feels like it's gonna slow me down, but I don't know. Did I even get an item? I don't think I did. I've never seen this course. This is cool. Oh, shoot. I shouldn't have done that. It's like second nature for some reason to just like hit the item button. Take that. Who the heck is in first? How are they so far up there? It's Nate again, isn't it? I don't know what the heck Nate's doing. But I need to learn some things from Nate. Woo. Where'd everybody go? Seem like, oh gosh, no! There's Nathan. Did you take a shortcut or something? What? Rude. Oh, there goes a blue shell. I think at this point I might be getting passed by the actual computers. <laughs> is that, is Wario one of ours or is that the computer? Because it would say their name, I think, right? Get out of here, Wario. Oh, Bullet Bill. Nice. Ikea. Time to get ruthless. <laughs> yep. Time to make some enemies. Hey, I made it back to second. What do you know? What do you know? Let's see if it lasts. Nope. Ugh. No! Oh gosh, I thought I almost hit myself there. Ikea. Get back here. Oh, a bomb. Hello. Uh-oh. <laughs> I feel like you let me pass you, Ikea. I feel like you hit the brakes there. Brazero Ludos, what's up? Hello, Desert Bee Games. Like from Brazil. What's up from Brazil? So far away. I felt bad. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate it. I may have logged too many hours in this game. Yeah, what is your secret? How are you doing that? Jellyfish, thank you. It's a struggle. Ooh, let's go classic. Not fair. <laughs> I didn't see where you finished, Capybara. Ikea let me into third, barely. doing Piper oh we've got four votes for the classic I haven't played since we all did same are we getting the classic one Mario circuit three yes let's see Nate's got 45 there's no way I'm catching up And now you're Big Boo? Oh, you didn't get the, the speed burst there. Oh my gosh, the music, I remember this. From the classic one, that's so cool. No, leave me alone. A coin, come on. Hey, why does he have, oh, I was like, why did he have purple flames coming out of his bike? 
It must be the, the drifting. Oh, I hit the oil. No. Somebody is shooting fireballs. Oh, nice little turbo. It's so weird. If you guys ever played the original, well, the I don't know if this is the original Mario Kart track, this this track that we're on. But uh, it when you go back and replay it, because they have it on the SNES um, Nintendo Online thing now, it feels like you're going so slow. And also there's like eight laps or something ridiculous. I'm in second. I mean, that's not bad. No, 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 no. Hey, where'd my turtle go? Oh gosh. <laughs> oh, I, I shouldn't have done that. I feel like I've said that like a bunch of times. Let's see if I can beat Nathan. What happened to Nate? Is he going easy on us on this one or what? I think I should have done that much, much sooner. A mushroom and a red turtle. Hmm. That's too bad. Okay, second's not bad. What happened to Nate in that one? I've only really played battle mode recently. I feel like I've only ever played battle mode in this game like once or twice? Not that often. Yeah, Nathan took first place that time. The whole time I kept wondering, where's Nate? I tried bagging this race and it didn't work out. I just want to see how exactly it is that you're getting so far ahead of us. Like, are you taking shortcuts or something? Or do you just know how to get all the speed boosts? I suck at this game. Me too! Go easy on me. <laughs> Did we lose some players? I feel like we lost somebody. Um. Yeah, Rusty's not here. We lost Rusty. Did I vote? Oh yeah, I did. Sometimes I'm taking shortcuts. It's also learning the best lines to take. Getting mini turbos. Hmm. He's still muted in the voice chat. Maybe he lost connection or something. Nate with 55 and Nathan with 51. You guys are close. Fifth race. Oh, this place is fun. All the cactus. Oh gosh, I didn't get an item. Rip me. Ooh, I'm loving this music. Ugh, rip me. Is that Ikea? <laughs> oh, there goes Nate. <laughs> no, don't. Don't do that. Oh, yeah. Wait, I want to see where Nate goes. We got to follow Nate. That's the key to this. Who put the banana right in front of the two, the double um, thingy? Nice, Capybara getting up there. Oh my gosh. Uh, who was that? Was that Ikea just got hit by a backwards green turtle? What bad luck. Well, Nate's left us in the dirt. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> that's the second time I think I hit Nathan with the red turtle. Sorry, not sorry. Oh, that one's going ahead. I thought that was going to go for Capybara. Uh-oh. Woo! 
Nice. Coming in with the... <laughs> I got two with the green. Who's in first? Oh, it's still Nate. I don't know why I thought that was Nate back there. Wait, no, it's not. I thought Nate was Big Boo. Whoa, no, no, no. Somebody's trying really hard with those green shells. Here comes a red somewhere behind me. Ugh, darn it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, that's Nate. Yeah, who's in first? Maybe it's Nathan. Oh, wait, I saw that. Wait, how? Why? Why did it work for him? I, tr <laughs> I tried to take the shortcut and it didn't work. Also, when I'm losing and that ball dwarf thing laughs, I just feel like Ganondorf is laughing at me. Nathan, nice job. That's two in a row, right? <laughs> nice. Dolphin Shoals? I don't think I've seen that before. You guys pick Sydney, Australia? There's one for Shy Guy. Nothing with ice in it. Why would you do that? Ice is the worst. I threw the red shell. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I got blue shelled. You did. Yeah, I think I saw that one. I think that's when I got confused and I thought the... I thought you were still in the lead, but I think it was actually Nathan that was in the lead. From the ashes like a phoenix I rise. <laughs> oh, that's true. Calamari Desert, nice. That's from N64, that's a classic. I got blue shelled after I qualified. Oh, that's such bad luck. Yeah, this is a classic, um, a classic level. When I used to play this with my brother and sister, we would come here to this level and just like ride around on the train tracks. We'd all like agree. We'd say, okay, I'm not gonna go over the finish line if you don't go over the finish line. And so none of us would go over the finish line. We'd just go around and around on the train tracks. <laughs> but this one, doesn't it require you to get on the train tracks for a time? Oh yeah, wait, did that actually work or did it blow up? I don't know if that worked or not. I thought I got Nate with the red shell. Mario work gear. Oh no, ooh, that was close. That was also close. Okay, this is a new addition. This wasn't in the original. Oh yeah, here's the part where you get on the track. There goes Capybara. Oh, here comes the train. What are, we're in third. Okay, that's not terrible. Oh, what? Getting hit with the, the blue shell when you're not even in first, like that's the worst. <laughs> nice. All right, third place still. That's not so bad. I guess I'm all right with that. And second place. I don't know if I should have done that or not. I probably should have held on to that for the inevitability that Nathan comes up here and tries to pass me. Oh my gosh, we got second. I passed Nathan right at the last second. <laughs> that's my thing. That's a thing my team for a writing competition says. Oh, nice. I'm gonna get supper. It was a great stream like always. Thanks, Jellyfish. It was fun. I'll see you next week. Have you seen top 10 Mario Kart relatable videos? No, I have not. Nice job. Thanks. For once, I finally got ahead of you at least. Wildwood sounds fun. 
Oh, it looks like Rusty's back. I dropped an item too early. <laughs> yeah, I saw you were holding a shell in your hand instead of behind you, and that's when I got you. I think that was you anyways. I just got from 10th to 4th. Wow, nice comeback. What's the thing with the, the little face? We've got half and half. I like how nobody did random this time. Yay, thank you so much, Desert B. Thank you for what? What's up, Steven? Music Park. Hmm, is this one familiar to me? I'm not sure. No, wait, what happened, Nate? Music Park. This does not seem familiar to me. Oh, yeah. Got a nice little boost. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. You could get, like, a boost on all of those things. Or you could just ride on these, I guess. How am I in third? What the heck, guys? <laughs> that sounds so cool. It's um, a xylophone, right? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, I'm getting robbed. That's a bummer. Oh, that thingy's bouncing around. Okay, that might have been an opportunity to get like a little boost, maybe? I don't know. The music notes on the side, how cute. Who's ahead of us? Is it Nate or Nathan? Who's that? I'm not sure which is better in this case. Maybe just staying on these. Oh, somebody got me too. Oh, yes, I think I chomped somebody. <laughs> That's fun. I think one thing that I'm doing is... I think that I'm not um, drifting early enough on some of these turns. I'm in fifth, but what? Is that... That's just nobody, right? Rosalina there? Okay, we're on second lap. We gotta get up there, guys. More green turtles. Let's just stick with the turbo, I guess. Mm -mm. I got a banana. see anything. Woo! I think I got Ikea in the air there. Ah, we got the um, flying one this time. Okay. Around the corner. Oh gosh. It's like so much happening. Fifth place. Ah, it's so annoying. Right at the end there, it was like a big old cluster of us, too. Capybara, Rosalina? Is that just like the computer? How the heck did she get up there? Let's see. What race was that? Six or seven? Moonview Highway. That sounds kind of cool. Or Vancouver Velocity. Let's go with that one. That sounds fun. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to watch some like Mario Kart tips and tricks or something. I gotta learn all the secrets. Just don't like the music park that much. Oh, I see. That was okay. It was kind of fun. Sir Tucker's playing his song. Ooh, I might spin out. Oh, yeah, I was a little bit too early there. Where did we end up coming? What, what, 
what um, thingy is this? Moon Park, whatever, something or other? Oh my gosh, a bomb on wheels. Wow. Fourth place, we have up here. Nathan is just in front, and then I think it's Capybara up ahead. Oh, somebody just hit the bomb on wheels, I think. Or something happened to it. Ooh, there's lots of these turbo boosts on this one. Oh, check it out, check it out. Ah, darn it, I was trying to get on that um, surfboard. Yeah, I think I'm doing my, um, uh, my drifting too late. I think I need to start it sooner. Like right here, maybe, so you can get really into the turn, you know? Ikea, I'm right behind ya. Okay, here we go. Oops. Meant to do that earlier. But I want these. Ooh. What? I even have bananas. No fair. Oh, jeez. I need something. I need some kind of an item. Oh, no. Sir Tucker, we got five new gifted memberships. Thank you. Let's see. Ghost Boy 666. Oh, my. Chilled Moon. Nice. Jamie. Solar Armor. And Soodle Noop. Welcome, guys, and thanks to Tucker for the gifted mims. Sixth. Rip me. Yeah. Yeah, let's go, Sir Tucker. We finished the chosen number of matches. Um, does it say the few? Let me see the standings. Nate with 112, then Nathan. I came in third? No way. That's surprising to me. And then Ikea, Capybara, and then Rusty. <laughs> Rusty, 35 points? <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, gosh. It's all us, then there's me. <laughs> oh, US. I see what you're saying. US. I get it. I get it. Look at that multitasking. I know, reading, racing and reading names, I know. I wasn't really racing very well, but <laughs> I was trying. That was fun, yeah, that was fun. Mario Kart's always so much fun. It's easy to get sucked into it and just wanna keep playing and keep playing and keep playing. Okay, well that, I'm, I'm done. You guys can keep racing if you would like to. Um, Let's see. Shall I get the dogs over here into the dog cam? Um, let me see if I can get Artie over because he's <laughs> like his ears are in. Here we go. Oh, let's see. Let me turn on... Hmm, how about the tears? The tears. There's Artie. Remember when Artie used to hang out with us every single day? And now it's Piper every single day? <laughs> oh, Rusty, thank you for the gifted memberships. Nathan, I'm done too. <laughs> You're done kicking our butts. 75 frogs. Welcome. Botez. Crocodile Ray. <laughs> Why does everybody have such fun names? It's Loner Stone. Miles from Home. That's a fun name too. Welcome, guys. Knights of the Yellow Oblong Circles. What does that mean? 
Knights of the Oblonged. Wait, Knights of the Yellow Oblonged Circles. Wait, is that like another way to say yellow hearts? <laughs> it means, okay, okay. <laughs> I was like, what does that even mean? That's hilarious. Oblong, yellow oblong circles. That's a good one. Artie, why are you turning away? <clears throat> it looks like Capybara is gonna keep on racing. Well, I'm done. I have almost all my recording for the week done, which I'm super proud of myself for doing this because, um, because usually I, like on Saturday, when it comes time for stream, I usually have maybe one episode recorded, but I actually have three, so yay me. Uh, I'm only gonna, I'm gonna do probably another one right now and then one more tomorrow, and then I have five videos, so we're gonna have videos all week long this week. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm on top of things today. I'm thinking of making the S in my name to shadows to match my theme. Oh, do it. So Tucker, Knights of the Yellow Hearts, <laughs> love it. Rusty, thank you so much. Another great Yellow Heart Gang stream. Hi, B and hi, Mom. <laughs> yes, we need a Yellow Heart Gang sticker. What do you mean, a sticker? Like, wait, wait, wait. Tell me what you mean by sticker, because I feel like there's so many things you could mean. Do you mean emoji? Do you mean redeem? Do you mean like actual sticky stickers? Mom, hi, Rusty. <laughs> we are video rich. Yeah, things are, we're going to be hopping with videos this week. It's going to be great. Let me think. Was there anything else? Hmm. I got the Mephus theme written down. I have the other themes that I'm supposed to add that are already saved in my files. I just have to upload them. I think that was it. I need some advice as a woman. What would you like to get from an, an admirer? Hmm. Knights of the Yellow Heart, Yellow Heart, Yellow Heart. <laughs> Knights of the Yellow Heart. Knights of the Yellow Heart Clan. And Ikea was crowned as the Yellow Heart King, right? <laughs> What's a gift that I would like Another to get? Another great Yellow Heart Gang stream. Hi, B and hi, Mom. Yellow Heart, 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 Yellow Heart. Oh my goodness. Hi, Rusty. Thank you. I made an unofficial Yellow Heart Gang emblem, so maybe a sticker out of that. Yeah, that would be awesome. Um, well, Nathan would have to give us our, our his permission, but... Oh, Sir Tucker, oh my goodness, thank you so much. The sticker, what does it say? Thanks for being you, Oh, thank you. Anyways, Nathan would have to give us permission, but that arty poster, the... Um, the Uncle Artie poster, we could make that a redeem. We'd have to digitize it, I guess, but that'd be fun. Let's see, we need a Yellow Heart Gang sticker. Yeah, you have to tell me what you mean by that, Truly Curious, but I'm down, I get permission. Okay, cool. I'll have to think about how to digitize it. If it would just be a matter of like, hmm, making it into a digital art or just taking a screenshot of it. I don't really know. I donate as well, but I got to save some money. Totally, yeah, save some money. No, yeah, never feel like you have to donate. I, I appreciate it though, guys. Thank you so much. Desert B Games also need to update the redeems in the description and don't forget the Owen Wilson wow. I'll see if I can find it. I don't even know where you find that. Owen Wilson, wow. Yeah, I do need to update the um, redeems in the description, yeah. Redeems description. Update. That bald dwarf. The Owen Wilson, wow. <laughs> okay, I'll look for it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find it, but I'll look for it. Something that you've noticed 
that I like, like if it's art, anime, wait, 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 or wolves and buy something related to that, shows that you're paying attention. <laughs> yeah, uh, Krishna, I, I don't know. I don't feel like I really have any advice. I think you just have to kind of play it by ear and whatever you think the person would like, you know? I don't, I don't know. I feel like I'm pretty terrible about advice giving when it, especially if it comes to like, I myself personally am terrible at gift giving anyways. So don't rely on me for advice for that. <laughs> Great stream today. I can drop some helpful Mario Kart videos in the, yes, please do. And I will watch them and try to get better. I'm gonna write her a poem. Oh, see, perfect. You already know exactly what to do. Perfect. You need to upgrade the end of the video membership list. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, let me write that down too. Mm, how would I say that? Just end of video. Well, it's called the outro, I guess. Outro updates. All right, I'll see what I can do. Bye, everyone. Another fun stream. Bye, mom. <laughs> The tag Artie wears in my picture is the unofficial. Yes, I noticed that. That is so cool. I'll try to make a Yellow Heart Gang sticker art. I'll post it on the Discord. Okay, sounds fun. He needs to update that list every Sunday. I really should. I get lazy though. It's not exactly hard to update, but it's not like exactly easy either. It just depends on how lazy I'm being and how many other things I have going on. Hope everyone has a nice Easter tomorrow. Yes. Um, yeah, I guess however you guys celebrate, I hope it's great. It's supposed to be raining here, so we'll see. It's perfectly sunny outside today. Yeah, yeah, Krishna, a poem is a great idea. I think that's great. Look at Artie snoozing. <laughs> Blinged out. Brass Nux reading <laughs> Yellow Heart Gang. <laughs> Redeem the big dog cam. You want to see Artie's toesies? Lots of love to my grand doggos. <laughs> yep. We'll see. I'll let you know, Mom, if Piper has her surgery. If she does, then I probably won't see you on Thursday. But if not, then we'll be there. Artie's got crusty old man toe beans. Globule, oh my gosh, I can't remember you. I can't believe you guys remember that. Globule. Hi, Artie. Okay, guys. Well, I think that um, that does it for today. So next week will be. What are we doing next week on the stream? Mm hmm. One last treat. One last treat for the doggos. I don't know. We might do the next temple in Twilight Princess, maybe. But I also kind of want to look up a map for bugs and um, um, also the pose. So I don't know. We might do that. I'm not in like a rush to finish the game. I'm kind of having fun with the game. So I don't necessarily want it to like finish yet. And then Mario will keep going with the basement floors. Um, those are fun. The lava one and the sand one are fun, but the hazy maze cave is tough. Just getting the hundred coins is really tough in that one. Okay, guys. Well, um, be on the lookout for a video every single day this week. And um, then, of course, stream on Saturday, as always. And, uh, yeah, I guess I uh, keep uh, happy thoughts for Piper in case she does end up having her surgery on Tuesday. She'll be fine, but, you know, she's going to be all, all down and woozy for a few days, I guess. Well, thanks for hanging, guys. It was fun. I'll try to work on the Shika. Yes, do. Please do. Logging off. I got my friend over, so I'll entertain. Okay, thanks, Nathan. Oh, Nathan Shadows. I love it. <laughs> videos every day. Yes. I recorded three videos yesterday. So that's Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Or sorry, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then I'm doing the Banishers videos today. 
Well, maybe one today and one tomorrow. So I should have a video every single day this week. And then I'll see you guys on Saturday. Thanks for hanging, guys. And thanks so much for all the super chats and the gifted memberships. And if you just hung out and chatted or if you just watched in the background, I seriously appreciate all of it, guys. Thank you so much. See you Saturday. Yellow hearts for Piper. Yes. Yellow hearts for Piper. I'll let you guys know how it goes in the Discord if she ends up having the surgery on Tuesday. Okay, guys. Bye.